Alright, let's let that load in, because I know you gotta click live. What is it? Uh, change. There we are. There we are. Okay, so um, I guess I got rid of the uh, go live button. That's nice. That's good to see. At least I, I'm thinking that's what happened here. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. I have not, gotta be honest, I have not live streamed on YouTube in quite some time. So it is possible they have definitely changed it some. Cool. Hey, Wedge, what's up? I haven't gone live on YouTube in a while. I usually go live on Twitch, but I thought for you guys that don't go over to Twitch, I'd give you guys a live stream today. So, what's up, guys? What's up, what's up, what's up? Because I know there would probably be a lot more people um, uh, on YouTube, so uh, I'm going to I'm gonna start trying to go live on YouTube more often for you guys. Um, I, think, uh, I think it's a good idea. What do you guys think? I know you guys uh, probably get more notifications, um, like JOV just said right there, notifications and stuff. Uh, man, you guys are getting in here pretty quick, right? Nice. I know I, I know. I get a lot more viewers on YouTube because, again, I have more subscribers and everything and more people following me, so... Yeah, the Chiefs are doing awesome. Yeah, what, uh, I didn't get to watch much of the game because I was working um, yesterday, but... Uh, man, what a first half they had. It was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, YouTube is pop always popping for me. Um, that's why I need to start going live on YouTube more often because people people really come to the streams during, on YouTube. I remember live streaming. Used to I used to live stream a little more on YouTube, um, and um, I would always get more viewers on YouTube. But I just thought I always thought like Twitch was a little bit better. But um, I think YouTube's really starting to get better. Um, so I'm gonna try it out again. You know, and. Um, I hope you guys are uh, having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, and today, this is what we're going to be working on, guys. Um, so what we're going to be working on, we're going to be working on this custom scenario. I've been working on this on Twitch quite often. So if some of you may have seen it, some of you, this might be the first time you're seeing this project. Um, and it's just kind of one of those small side projects. So I like the Royals. Um, I don't really watch baseball all that much, um, but if I had to pick a baseball team, it would be the uh, would be the Royals. So yes, I'm like a I'm like a Kansas City uh, sports team fan, pretty much. <clears throat> like I don't really have a big preference for baseball, but um, I would say the Royals. I, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> I'm more of a fo football's like my sport. Um, I, I I was in uh, played football in high school and or junior high and high school and uh, all that fun stuff. And I was a running back. It was fun. <laughs> oh, Phil, <laughs> auto mod completely blocked your message. It's funny, but I'll allow it. But what's up, Phil? What's up, buddy? Glad to see you in here. <laughs> You don't think you get a virus from subscribing to me, Phil. Phil, just give in. Just subscribe, man. I don't know if you're subscribed on YouTube, Philip, but you need to subscribe to JLB Games. You're already here. You might as well. I mean, I'm not even talking. This is this one's not even Twitch. You just click it, and it's pretty much following. <laughs> is the real server RC closed because of the pandemic? It is not. No, actually, um, it it is not. Build a roller coaster. Um, I already built coasters in here, uh, Phil. You sound like uh, you sound like Derek sometimes. He likes to pop in and say that. <laughs> but all right, let's um uh, this this project is actually very close to being finished. Um, so this is actually going to be a custom scenario. It's going to be a scenario where um an actual scenario where we uh, uh that you can play through. So that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> Makes really good content. Phil's just he's just trolling, man. Philip's one of my uh, actual really close friends so and he's just he's just funny <laughs> Philip is is an amazing guy I miss you buddy <laughs> miss you miss you we need to we need to get together and have that uh, Batman marathon all right Christopher Nolan Batman and maybe we'll maybe we'll throw in Batman and Robin, you know, because that was the, obviously the best Batman movie ever. 
I said that sarcastically. <laughs> Don't you have a PS5 yet? Derek does. <laughs> hey, I actually tried to get one this morning. I was checking all the Walmarts in the area. I actually went all the way up to Republic this morning to check to see because I, I saw a website saying they had some in stock and they didn't when I got up there. I tried calling them, but they didn't answer <clears throat> before I went up there. So I was like, ah, I'll just drive up there. And they didn't have them. Because uh, there's, there's been a lot of reports of people walking in and actually coming away with them, which is interesting uh, lately. But I'm sure they're all probably sold out by now. And I probably was a little bit too late to the party. <laughs> I've been working on it, though. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. I, I don't want to buy it <laughs> because it's not a good financial decision for me. But <laughs> just saying, it may, it's probably a good thing I can't get a hold of one, actually. Honestly, I should probably wait for a few months anyways. Um, all the bots are just crazy right now. Maybe It's probably better to just wait until all the bots are stopped on the websites, and at least until they're on the shelves. They'll probably be sometime next year in, like, February to April, somewhere where we can probably start actually seeing them. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get started. We're going to get started on this. <laughs> I mean, honestly, there's not really, like, any games for it right now either, so it's not, it's not like, a huge thing. But I'm really interested in, like, the controller and stuff. I wonder if you can use a controller on PC. I know usually you can. So I'm curious if you can use the PS5 controller. So I, I was tempted to buy it, just buy the controller. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if the haptic feedback feature would work on, like, PC games. Probably not. I wouldn't, I would imagine probably not, but, you know. It'd be cool. It's a really nice controller, so. <laughs> yeah. I was so close to getting one, I actually got one confirmed. Like, I got an email confirmation and everything, but then, like, a few days later, they canceled the order because they didn't have enough stock, and it was just really dumb. They're really dumb. Looks like a really good upgrade to an Xbox controller. I like both controllers, but I really like the DualSense. It's looking really cool. But yeah, once once everything kind of cools down, I'll, I might get one. I'll probably get, I'll probably will get one. Not might, I, pro I will. Um, and then as for the Xbox, I mean, I have no need of getting one right now. So I don't know. And I really want to get Planet Coaster um, console edition. Planet Coaster is so realistic. It can be if you uh, play it a certain way. You can also make it very unrealistic if you really wanted to. Just if you really, really, really wanted to. Let's see. I want, I, I've been wanting to detail the entrance up a little bit here. Continue some track work with that new secret big <laughs> Red River Valley. Oh, nice. Yeah, su super secret. No one knows about it uh, at all. Completely. No one knows. It is a, a total mystery. We totally not have completely just shown it on the Discord at all. <laughs> Crowd getting stuck in the stack. Yeah, I've had that glitch happen quite often. I have seen that glitch a lot, where they just, like, pop up into the sky for a few seconds, and then they disappear. <laughs> Interesting. I definitely need to check out the console edition eventually. Um, I still haven't bought it. Uh, I've been waiting to maybe maybe wait until maybe I get, like, a PlayStation 5 or something, because it'll probably be better. Again, there's not as low as limit, as much limits on the... PS5 version as there is the PS4 version, so we're gonna keep that like that, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the good thing about my canceled order of my PS5 was is that I still got like, it was from Kohl's, um, and I was trying to get one of the bundles, and um, I canceled on me, but they uh, I was able to keep the Kohl's cash, which was $180. So I have $180 to spend in store at Kohl's just for uh, for them uh, messing everything up. <laughs> so at least I got free stuff out of it, you know, even though, you know, uh, thankfully I got my money back. Um, they did refund it, so because they did, they actually pulled the money out and, and everything, which is crazy. And Still didn't get it. <laughs> I thought I had it. It's all right. It's not a big deal. I'm not uh, gonna be. I'm not. I'm not like desperate. Desperate. I'm. I'm. I'm like keeping my eye out for him, but I'm not like. Like I'm not gonna like shoot someone for it. 
<laughs> you know. You know what I mean? Not not that desperate. All right, I kind of want to put a sign, a neat looking sign up here that says Midwest Adventure. Um, the lighting in my room. I need to get like a ring light or something. I think that would look a little bit better. Arle, what's up? This is America. <laughs> Which people? Uh, oh my. <laughs> uh. What's up, Harley? What are you doing? How you How you doing? Philip was in here a second ago. I don't know if he's still watching, but he was in here. How was Thanksgiving? Uh, it was pretty busy. Um, actually, I worked on Thanksgiving, so I didn't really get to do much. But I mean, it was a good day. What's up, Ryder? How you doing? How you guys doing? Man, you guys are really active on YouTube. Cool to see. This is why I might might start going live more on YouTube. Um, I might go back and forth between YouTube and Twitch. So, or I could potentially make it to where I could stream on both at the same time. That could be a thing as well. Um, could potentially do that. Uh, this overlay I just kind of threw together real quick. Nothing too fancy either. I might might get a full on overlay later on so my goal again my goal with this scenario is not to use any theme makers toolkit items uh should i watch the stream while in school i mean no pay attention to your class your schools i mean unless it's okay to watch the stream <laughs> got it stay in school kids <laughs> always on youtube I only go to twitch when i catch up on stuff right <laughs> See, maybe I should start streaming to both. That way, um, viewers on YouTube can watch, and also viewers on Twitch can watch at the same time. I think YouTube's gotten a lot better, though. Like, I stopped streaming on YouTube for a long time because it was just, it wasn't as good as Twitch overall, just the streaming experience and the interaction, but it seems a lot better now. YouTube chat is very, yeah, it is, and we don't even, we're not even sitting at that many viewers at the moment. We might get some later on, but still kind of early so i remember at some points when i used to stream on youtube i'd get upwards into the 30s 40 viewers sometimes so maybe we can get start getting those again more people are going to get notifications because uh, again there's over 5,500 people on youtube and i don't even have a thousand followers on twitch yet so you know so um YouTube just gets more notifications, uh, probably. There's more people saying, hey, JLW Games is live than Twitch is, you know? And the same YouTube is better, so they get in notifications, right? Also, uh, Gunner, when do you want to film RRV? I'm available today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. We need to film another episode. Get another episode out there, you know? Oh, I got a I got a good idea for this one. Let's go misc signs and we're gonna go maybe the smaller version of this. Yeah. Probably change the color, of course, but let's start with an M. Uh, available all those days too. So yeah, like whenever are you are you getting close to finishing up what you wanted to do? Because if you are, we should totally get that going. Because I want to get the park back. I'm excited to get the park back myself, so I cannot wait to get in there. Because I got, I got plans, man. Yes, we'll be uh, getting back into Silver Dollar City Recreation. Right now, we're starting off with the Scenario Editor, and we're going to be working on uh, Silver Dollar City here soon as well, so... But first, I'm going to work a little bit here in the custom scenario. And once I'm done with this, we'll get into um, Silver Dollar City. So we're doing two different uh, projects today. Almost finished. Okay, cool. What episode are we on? I think this one, next one's going to be episode six. What PC do, do, you, do I use? Um, I kind of slightly built it, and it's a pre-built but I have completely changed it. I've modified it a lot since I've built it. So, but it is the the PC that I originally built or bought was an i by Power. It's got a um, Intel. Oh gosh, it's a 10 core processor. I can't remember exactly which. Uh, it's an uh, Intel i9 10 core, but I don't remember exactly which one it was. 
Um, but it's 10 cores. Um, I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I got a 750 watt power supply, a Corsair power supply, and um, I got I'm running a NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti on my graphics card, and it's a great graphics card. What did you end up doing with Time Traveler? I will show you. Um, so I do, if you didn't know, there is a mod available for Planet Coaster, which gets rid of the limitations on a lot of the rides. So I was able to swap the um, trains on Time Traveler to the spinning cars. So we do have spinning cars on Time Traveler now, which is great. Um, it will be in the next episode for sure. I, I don't know if I've shown that off in the last episode. I may have. Can't remember. After my college cost ends up for 145, your time, maybe later. Yeah, we can do that, man. Totally. Did you change the track? I did. I have not. I've debated on changing the track. I have not done it yet. Um, as of right now, it's still the same. I could potentially retrack it, and I don't know which what track I would want to use. I'd either want to use the Copperhead Strike track or the Spinning Coaster track itself, so I could have the spinning part at the top, so it could spin it going down the drop. Um, but I don't know if I want that because I want, I want the thick optional spine that is on. Um, the Copperhead Strike model, um, because I love the options in that, and the auto generated supports are better, but I'm going to custom support it anyways. I haven't started to custom support it just yet, or I did the first drop is, and a couple on the first inversions about all I did, so I haven't done any more just in case I've had to potentially retrack it. So <laughs> I've retracked it like three times already, you know, so. We will see. We will see. See, it's hard to get uh, anything done on YouTube because you guys are very active, which is great. Um, so this is going to be Midwest Adventure. So I might put it like a, a thing over this. We'll see. Uh, I've done the plop for one for 2020, and the spinning is nutty. Wish you could control the spin. See, like, oh gosh, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, Time Traveler has a controlled spin. Um, not as in, like, it is motorized. It just, like, has a break on it so it doesn't spin too fast. Um, I think you should do Copperhead Strike Track because it already has the launches. Um, that is true. It would, it would be a lot difficult on the, uh, spinning coaster model because it doesn't have the launches and I would have to retrace the track because the launches would be there's launches on them now with the mod but they're invisible track pieces so and the LSM fins would probably look better as well true hey fluffy what's up welcome to the YouTube stream how's it going so it's like yeah as Hartley would say controlled controlled as in it's not going to allow it to spin too fast. But it's still free spin. It's a free spin. I remember there's one ride on Time Traveler I got that was the craziest ever. I had to do a ride through and it was insane. What the heck just happened? Why does this why is this change back to W? <laughs> oh, okay. We're doing all caps here. All capital letters. Gosh dang, my mouse is very clicky. So what did you think of Tiger Kill's first quarter? Absolutely insane. I didn't get to watch it because I was working, but I saw the highlights and everything. <laughs> he was on pace for like a thousand yards uh, initially. <laughs> How are you liking Kira Woods? My feet are hurt. Park is so big. <laughs> Dude, I have got to get to Kara Woods next year. It better be open by next season. Because I was supposed to go this year. That was going to be my trip this year. My my big plan trip was going to be Carowinds this year. Because I want to go Carowinds so bad. Ride Fury, Copperhead, and all the others. But those are my, my two that I really want to ride. The spinning coaster on the Copperhead track. You can't control the spin. So if you ride in CVU, it's too much. Wish you could control it in-game. Yeah, I mean, at least I can put spinning cars on the launch now. The So that is that is the, at least, I can have spinning cars on it. Because before, I didn't have spinning cars. Um, I'm, like, not paying attention. I'm going to spell something wrong by accident. I just feel like happening, you know? 
We're gonna play fa try and play Phasmophobia for today. Potentially, yeah, we could play some Phasmophobia. Yeah, because the, the new jail uh, map is out. I do want to try that. And then I'm not even paying attention. This needs to be an N. Hey, let's go on an adventure. This is taking me longer than it should. <laughs> so try to keep up with chat at the same time. I'm not ready for present. <laughs> Most anticipated coaster for 2021? That's a good question. Probably Iron Gwazi or Pantheon, maybe, or Velocicoaster. Those are my top three, probably. I'm sure I'm missing one, but um, those three, I'm really, I'm really excited for a Velocicoaster. That thing looks amazing. Obviously, Iron Gwazi, and then Pan I really thought Pantheon looked really good too. I don't think it ever opened this year, so I think it's gonna open next year, I believe. Yeah, prison's definitely gonna be scary. <laughs> it's really scary. Even you know, the pros are. Scared of prison, which is a first. Oh gosh, that that does sound scary. Then, and the worst part is I'm probably going to be in VR. Yeah, I'm going to be playing it in VR. So, I need to get a um, extra thing for that, or like the um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like, a, I want to get like a, a new bat battery pack for it so it lasts more than two hours. Oh, that kind of looks okay. Maybe I should do the outline a different color because that kind of kind of conflicting there in a way. Um, I don't think I can do that actually. Okay, so now let's do a little bit of an outline here. VR is even worse. So yeah, the trip to Florida, get all of them, and Mako. What a what a great trip to make. I'm think I'm really thinking about going to Florida. It's just so expensive for me. Um, we I went in October, yeah, of last year, not this year. Um, was the last time I went to uh, Florida. We went to Universal Studios. Um, uh, unfortunately, I didn't have enough funds to go to any other parks. I really wanted to go Bush Gardens. I've never been to Bush Gardens Tampa still, um, and I definitely am going to go there next time we're in Florida. So, especially, I'm, especially when Iron Gwazi is open. You see that lightning rod is getting steel track. I did see that. Um, I saw pictures of it, and hopefully, it will keep it nice and reliable and open. Um, it will also make it nice and smooth too. Looking, I'm sure it's gonna be great. But at least I can say that I've ridden it when it was a wood coaster. So um, it looks like they're gonna be redoing all of it. From what I've seen, it looks like they're going to be completely doing the entire track. I thought potentially they could were only gonna be doing like certain parts that were problematic, but it looks like they're going to be doing it. For the whole track at least i saw the first turnaround like when it first goes out of the station was getting steel track so yeah looking forward to jersey devil coaster because that's my home park nice that was one of the coasters that looked really cool as well that i actually applauded six flags for because <laughs> i was like that was actually a really good it's it's original it's a custom layout you know really cool hi from the uk oh hey what's up I tried to recreate parks I see on YouTube, but I've only managed an entrance that looks as good as my wife's cooking. My wife can't cook. I'm on PS4. How do you make it look so easy? So, awesome. So I'm assuming you have it on console on PlayStation 4. Um, so I'm sure the controls are probably a little bit different, for sure, um, on PS4. Maybe a little even more complicated on the, on the gamepad. I, I haven't tried the console version myself, um, but, man, just practice. I have... Over, I have about 3,000 hours on Planet Coaster, so literally it just takes a lot of time. You got to be patient, and it's it will come. You know, it it doesn't it doesn't hit you overnight. But a good thing to do is to reference, have references, you know, and try and recreate stuff. That's a really good way to get started. Is just try to recreate real life stuff. Um, or really have stuff inspired by it. Uh, I feel like my building is a lot better um, in the game when I actually am inspire my stuff from real life stuff. Um, uh, so yeah, it's 
Um, and again, PS4, you don't have everything, but you can still create some really awesome stuff um, with just the in-game stuff, because you don't have access to Theme Maker's Toolkit, unfortunately, on on uh, on the console version, but you can still create some great stuff with in-game stuff as well. Um, and obviously, you don't have all the DLC yet for console, which I think will come uh, eventually, which will be really nice to have. Um, but yeah, my best advice is just to get some motivation, get some inspiration from stuff, and just take your time. Be patient. And it doesn't happen overnight. Like, stuff takes a long time. And I wouldn't... I'd say maybe not start with an entire park, maybe. Just start with, like, a, a coaster project or a, an area. Like, just create one little area or something, you know? Um, and don't go full-on park right off the bat. Um, and just kind of, you know, polish your skills up a little bit, um, you know... Nice. Nobody's talked about this, but Plenko is out for Mac now. Yes, it is, actually. It did release for Mac, um, which it's, like, pretty much on all platforms now except for Nintendo Switch, and people are still yelling at Frontier to put it on Switch, but I don't think that would work very well, so <laughs> it would have to be a very, very limited version because I don't think the Switch could be able to handle this uh, as much. <laughs> Fun. No one's. It's not getting mo on mobile until like maybe fifteen more years, <laughs> maybe like like they did with like. I think R is RCT three on mobile now. I think there's an RCT three mobile, uh, now as well. Judging by my entrance, I wouldn't want to visit my park. <laughs> hey, I'm not the greatest at entrances either. Like even this entrance, I'm not very. Uh, like, I'm, that's why I, I've been holding off on, like, uh, detailing it, but, like, even this entrance hasn't been the greatest, but I am trying to do my best at the moment to at least get it worth something. <laughs> this is a park that could probably use an entrance update. Again, this is kind of like an, an old... Uh, the storyline kind of behind this park is that it has been around for a long time, pretty much. It, or it's, it's kind of an older park that just hasn't really added much over the years. And uh, you, bought, uh, you bought it off the previous owners. And the previous owners just want to see it, you know, thrive. And you're, you're coming in to pretty much keep this park alive. That is going to be your focus as the new owner of this park. Again, this is a scenario, so I want to put like a lot of story, uh, some story elements behind it. And that's what I like to do with um, scenarios and stuff. I wanted to create a scenario, a nice scenario for people to play and everything. So I ha I'm gonna go in, like I'm gonna go full on with this and full on test it and make sure that uh, the objectives are what they need to be and stuff like that like they they work fine um that you know they're not too hard not too easy stuff like that oh i'm excited for the next episode of red river valley it's great some great progress has been going on um since gunners had the park he has been ex inspired man and he's been like he's been doing a lot lately so I can't wait myself even bam I'm gonna have to agree with uh, Jacob on this one gunner you do leave the game running like 24/ 7. <laughs> I haven't been able to watch this much on Twitch. I've been extremely busy. Hey, that's, that is okay. That's why I came to YouTube, because a lot of people usually don't join me on Twitch very often um, that come over from YouTube, and um, I have a lot more people or followers slash subscribers on YouTube, so uh, it gets notified to more people and, and everything, so. Uh. I right, get some of those lights in there. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else I could add to make this uh, entrance pop a little bit more. Fit some awnings in, in here. I don't know. Hmm. If you look at the Discord, you're going to say multiple times you have been playing for three months without turning it off. <laughs> 
It always says plane planet coaster every time I'm on there. Not three months. <laughs> Only like ten days. <laughs> it's so much better. This is not three months. It's ten days. Get it. Get it right. <laughs> I've only been playing 10 days straight, not three months. <laughs> only had it running for, for 10. You goofy goober. <laughs> Nobody cares, says, I hate school. Hey, I wasn't too fond of school either. <clears throat> Myself, but stay in school. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> I gotta be a, a, a good role model and tell everyone to stay in school. <laughs> don't necessarily have to go to college, but stay stay in. Don't drop out of you know middle school or, or high school or, and stuff. <laughs> stay stay in school. School leads to work from home. I'm getting paid to watch you right now. Oh, cool. School is good. See, so stay in school, otherwise you'll end up like uh, like me, and uh, you just have a low-paying job, and you're <laughs> beg begging uh, for uh, for views on YouTube. I'm not begging. I'm just <laughs> I don't actually beg. Please subscribe. <laughs> Stay in high school at least. Yes, lifetime. Crippling debt to learn is bad. See, I've never, I've, I always felt like sometimes, um, in some ways, not all times, I feel like college can be a scam sometimes. That's just my personal view a little bit. Like if you go into the uh, a cert certain areas yeah like college is definitely beneficial but like sometimes it could be feels like a scam because you're just like in debt forever <laughs> and let i mean it's good to have it on your resume but but if you if you start somewhere you can move up in the in whatever company you work for you can move up or just by working there for a long time and just working hard you know what i mean you don't necessarily have to go to college to be successful. I mean, it can help in some some situations, but I mean, look look at me. I'm 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 not that rich. <laughs> yes, I make a little a tiny like a this little tiny much on YouTube and Twitch, but when you're when you're only getting paid like every few months, <laughs> it's it doesn't do much. It's a nice little side cash once in a while, but it, it, it's gone like that. <laughs> learned more from YouTube than school. I mean, you, if you want to learn something, sometimes, as long as it's legitimate, you know, the internet can be a really good place. Except for not all the time. Just make sure you're going to reliable sources. To learn something, <laughs> to get more views on YouTube, uh, should share screenshots of your stuff on Planko Reddit. Um, yeah, maybe I should look into that. Submit something to Channel Five Gaming. I've thought about that. Um, I know the stigma with them, but it leads to more people. That is true. It kind of helps get your name out there. Um, definitely talented enough at the game. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks for the kind words. And I'm trying to get better. Um, I don't know if you've seen the, the Sword Art City recreation, but that is my project that I really am really hoping for. That and Red River Valley right now are the two projects. Those are my two main projects right now. Um, Sword Art City is my main, main project. And Red River Valley is kind of like my, my main side project since Gunner is also helping me with that since it's a collaboration. While he's working on that, I can work on other things. And then when he hands that back off, I'll work on it for a bit. Um, so it's not a huge thing where I have to like always be working on that um, and then this is like a side small side project you know high school doesn't teach you specifically about life stuff but it does teach you how to learn outside of school true and research and apply it um, have you made any rides yet I have um, let me go a little bit around the park for those that have not seen this project before um, 
why not on Twitch? I've been thinking about potentially getting it to where I can stream on both at the exact same time. Um, I'm just kind of testing out YouTube to see if I like YouTube better again. And so far, YouTube's great right now. So maybe I can start streaming on both platforms at the same time um, eventually here soon. So SDC has been your main project for 10 years. No, it actually has not been my main project for 10 years. It's been my main project as of this last year. Um, it's been pushed off to the side um, for the <laughs> 10 years. The game's been out for only four. <laughs> it's been pushed back for a long time. It wasn't my main project for a while. And then after I finished, well, finished, uh, Time City, was it Time City? Uh, I started making it my, my main thing. SCC would get a buttload of views on Channel 5 and Reddit. Exactly. When I get it done eventually, um, I am going to push that out there and put it in people's faces. <laughs> Uh, that and Red River Valley. Imagine having to worry about two chats. That's true. Twitch is rel gets relatively quiet um, a lot on the um, chat, but YouTube is popping, man. <laughs> I can't like I'm trying not to get behind on chat, so you guys are you guys are popping in chat. <laughs> But anyways, going around the park here, this is going to be a tiny, tiny park because simply it's going to be a um, scenario and I want to allow the user to expand the park. So basically I started with a uh, simple parking lot out here, nothing too fancy, uh, and we're going to have actual cars driving around, which I already set up one. I'm going to set up multiple cars driving around to give the parking lot more feel. You can see like here's one of the cars driving around. Um, and it's the classic cars. It's the closest thing I could get, but I pretty much put the track underneath the pavement and it looks like cars driving around in the parking lot, you know, it brings the parking lot to life a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to put a giga in, in the park. Hey, if you want to rocket, Hey rocket, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. You've been in here, but I haven't said hi yet. <laughs> You did ask earlier, why are we live here? Um, just because I want to try out YouTube, and I haven't tried doing YouTube in a while. So I think we can put some pavement right here to cover that up. Let's uh, go down on the side a little bit. And that will make that look nice and blended in there. I'm glad that this pavement actually blends in with the path really well. It's it's nice. It's a very nice path cover if you have open spots. <clears throat> it's a Vacoma SLC Giga. Oh, okay. Any tips for terrain? So terrain can be a little bit tricky. Um, it kind of depends. What do you uh, when you say terrain? Are you just meaning like just general terraforming like hills and mountains and stuff? Or are you actually talking about working it in with the path? Because that's the painful part, is working terrain with path. Um, trying to get your paths with the terrain. That's why Silver Dollar City has been one of the toughest um, park recreated parks um, out there. <laughs> because it ha uses, uh, uses a lot of terrain with the paths. And it is very difficult because Planet Coaster does not like terrain pathing at all. <laughs> mm. But in general, if you're doing like a regular terrain, it's not too... It's not too bad. Um, so it just kind of depends. Um, like a car ride with bridge, um, with a bridge and dips, gentle slopes. So when you say car ride, are you talking like a, a tracked ride or like a coaster? Or when you say car ride? Um, because it's easier to work the terrain in with rides. There, that, That's not too bad. It's just pathing, and it's it's a nightmare. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to design, bring this parking lot that the game doesn't utilize to life. Nothing too fancy. Oh, yeah, you know, because uh, Planet Coaster doesn't even have functioning. <laughs> this is a simple parking lot, okay? Usually I go all out on my parking lots. This is a simple one for me. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. <laughs> it's not even an in-game feature. But I make it. I make it one. Can you do that for our RV too? Maybe in the cars and the parking lot. Yeah, I'm going. That uh, I did plan on doing that. I kind of wanted to make sure we had some of the because I want them going in the outside world as well. Um, but I also want them going into the park, like going through the toll booths and stuff like that. 
So I'm going to do uh, do that, but I kind of think we need to finish up the uh, main road and highways first. And then I was going to put those cars in. You kind of want to wait until you kind of have your whole set thing. Because I can have cars going from one area or outside the park going into the park. It'd be cool. <sighs> Could you imagine Six Flags over Georgia or Six Flags Magic Mountain Recreation for pathing? Whew. Antique car, so oh, so like an antique car ride. Um, yeah, it, it's not too bad because you can it, it, it colliding with the path or the um, uh, colliding with uh, the track. So you can see my track layout here. Um, with the terrain is actually not too bad or not too hard. I would definitely recommend doing the track first and shaping the terrain around it if you're doing like a terrain. Um, based uh it'd probably be a better idea to do the track first and then do the terrain over that and um you know it can be a little it, it can be a little time consuming but if you don't want the track showing you know just cover it up it'll be great Sad part is, it's true, this is a basic park. It is, it's a non-complicated parking lot. I just made it to where there's a couple spots here and then you just have a drive around, which is, which is nice. Have a little crossing here so you can get into the park. This is our backstage area. This is our little maintenance warehouse. Um, I need to detail that up still a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, I love the, uh, I'm really proud of this uh, Aero Corkscrew model. Uh, it was modeled after the actual corkscrew model. I think it's a reversed version, like a, a mirrored version, but which is really, really nice. And we have a little bit more backstage areas that we need to uh, do a little bit more with, but this is all backstage stuff, uh, going to be backstage stuff. And then I'm going to do a little bit of outside world um, building, so adding some more trees. I'm not going to add too many trees like I usually do, just kind of like, you know, even with the outside world, so it kind of blends in. Um, but I'm gonna try and detail it. I put this little river here just to have a little bit of water in the map um, And I made it look like it goes into a tunnel heading out to the uh, the little lake out here or, uh, Whatever it is, so it looks like it kind of goes underground and heads out to that lake So it kind of blends into the environment as best as possible um, This is all gonna be underground um, There's gonna be a little tunnel coming out of here into the parking lot for that. So that'll be great um yeah, we just got a, a little bit more detailing to do here on some of these buildings. These buildings are supposed to meant to look kind of rustic, old, and kind of worn down, um, needing updating. You know, they're just they're just old, just kind of barely standing. And you, as the user, can choose to update them or you know keep them and and stuff like that. So we have a few restaurants in here inside the park and we have uh, two coasters to start off with I wanted to make sure that there wasn't too many coasters and all that and you're gonna have limited space to work with in the park as well I am a tree addict it is true <laughs> I am very tree happy I, I, I to be honest I'm probably going to add more than I just mentioned I'd probably I'm probably gonna scatter it but I, I don't I want the game to be or the scenario to be pretty playable, as in, like, I don't want to have too much. That way, people don't drop their frames uh, as much. But I want to have some decent amount of details, because I want to make this look fairly realistic. Like, pretty pretty good realism here is what I'm going for. That's what I'm going for. But we'll see. But you got to kind of make a little bit of sacrificing. Again, I'm not using any toolkit items. That way, no one has to download any when they want to play the scenario. <clears throat> and that's kind of what we're going to go with. I wanted, I wanted to give these buildings a lot of character. So that's why I made some interesting shaping on them. So if you want like tips on like really making your buildings look a little bit more unique... Give them some unique shapes. Don't make them just boxes like build start out with a box and then just add on to that box in different spots and heights and You can get something like similar to like this and you have a little bit more interesting shapes um, on your buildings and just add like general details to them, you know, like awnings and um, You know windows and stuff and then if you want to get really crazy you can 
Just just keep keep on adding stuff, you know. If you're not referencing stuff, that's usually how I build. Is just kind of do it in that kind of sense, I guess you could say. Just kind of kind of making it nice and unique in different ways and shapes and forms. Oh yeah, I don't have any uh, night bots or anything on YouTube. I never set those up, have I? But it's okay. Um, our acting bot today is going to be Jacob, Fluffy in, in chat there. <laughs> he's our he's our he's our fill-in bot. He's not really a bot. He's human, but <laughs> he's uh he's gonna he's gonna be our bot for today. <laughs> <laughs> playing a game. <laughs> I should probably put like a um, a door back here or something. Oh, I like that door. That door fits nicely. Especially the, the coloring there. Let's get some different types of windows in here. Add a little bit some different stuff in here. I think I'm going to lower these just a little bit because I feel like they would be a little bit too high in real life. Lower them down. Yeah, that's that's good. Right down there. So this is going to be our like little backstage area. So we don't have to go too crazy with detailing here. Just enough, you know, if it is kind of, you know, visible that we're going to keep it a little hidden here. This building is literally just visual purposes. It's nothing. It's a, like a guest service building. Is literally all it is in it. Actually, has nothing in there. So yeah, 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 yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. I probably won't work on this for too long. We'll probably get into Soro City pretty quickly because that's my main project. I do want to get this done. Um, in the near future though, so I'm just gonna try and, and do my best to like maybe work on it a little bit each day Not the little too crazy just a just a little bit each day That's Midwest adventure. So like the main park itself is pretty much done. I just got to add some details um, on some of the stuff like these buildings and stuff just need a little more detail and, um, and Just do a little bit of the outside world with some trees. Maybe in fact, let's do some tree tree work and then the parking lot needs uh, needs to be polished up a little bit on the outsides here, um, and then we'll pretty much be good. I might put like a like a guard or something around, uh, kind of like a barrier or something. I did do some perimeter fencing around these rides a little bit here, um, so that is good. Cool, cool, cool. Nobody cares back, but on a different count. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, I care. Oh, you're saying hi to nobody cares. That's right. I forgot we had someone in the chat that was called nobody cares. So you are are you nobody cares just on a different account? Is that is that what it is? I can't tell. I'm good. Mind blown. Just mind blown. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. Do I want to change the terrain in any way up here? I think we might might edit it just a little bit here. Not too much. Not too much. We're probably just gonna let's make the size a little bit bigger here. Kind of want to get rid of this a little bit of this rocky texture here. Just kind of fill it out like this. Get rid of these cliffs. Just make it a nice hill. So we do have some terrain around. A little bit of terraforming. <clears throat> yes. Okay. So I'm assuming I think I got that right then. Good. Turn the intensity up a little bit. Speed things along. There we go. Hope you guys end up playing this scenario and enjoying it, because I know. I hope. I uh, hope it brings joy to people, and hopefully they, uh, you guys, enjoy it when it is live and ready to go and hopefully it's not too hard i want to make it challenging but not like 
too terribly challenging. If you know what I'm saying. Alright, let's put... These guys are some good fillers, the oak tree. It's a really good filler tree. Really, really good filler. So I'll make it to where you have to... You're going to have to demolish some trees here. I'm probably not going to do any time-based objectives because nobody likes time-based objectives. <laughs> Just take your time and do what you want with it, you know? I'll play with a plant coaster I don't have. Aw. Should maybe, maybe save up and get it. Or wait till it goes on sale. It goes on sale quite often sometimes, actually. Oh, I got a line to surface on. Uh, I don't want a line to surface on. That messes up sometimes. Some sick picks. Nice. I can't wait. It, it's so good. Gunner, Gunner's been doing some really amazing work on Red River Valley lately. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm going to fil film the episode first, though, of course. And then you guys can see it. In all of its beautiful glory. Too many trees. This isn't... No, we're not too many. I'm spreading them out. See? We're, we're getting... I don't have too many yet. I still have nearly 50 frames right now on my frame rate. See, we're doing good. I'm being careful. I'm not doing too many. We're just you know, just sprinkling them in there. Just nice little sprinkles of, <laughs> of trees in here. Just nice little sprinkling of each tree. Need shrubberies. Yeah, we should add some shrubbery stuff as well. When you move, you think snap some of the trees. Wait, what? I don't understand that. Oh, when you move. <laughs> oh, you think. They know snap some of the trees. Oh yeah, because they kind of disappear when you uh, zoom out too far. <laughs> we demand a shrubbery. So I think I'm gonna do shrubs closer to the um, and next to the park. Like, for instance, like right here, we'll kind of populate it with trees, pretty heavily right on the outside, to kind of help with that illusion that it's just lots of trees out there you know but there actually isn't as much so here comes the shrubberies and bushes and and such see i like to sometimes use trees as shrubs to just like sink them down gives you more options for like actual shrubbery so a good way to kind of block off the rest of the world and really hide stuff with trees is just to have, like, different levels of trees. So, like, have some of them sunk down, have them some all the way up, just, like, have different levels like this, and it really helps hide it. So, like, if you're on ground level, look at that. It's harder to see through those trees. I should probably get some different types of trees so we're not just using the same one over and over. So, like, just kind of... And then we're, we're just kind of going to have it fade out so it'll be getting thinner and thinner as we go out you know <clears throat> yes are you nice you seem you seem nice are you talking about me because i'm i'm very i'm very nice i try to be <laughs> we're all usually we're all nice we're pretty nice here Few of these guys. So I'm gonna put some trees and shrubs here. I wanna leave enough room for expansion. So if I was if I was to go about this, and if I was building a park, like if I was expanding this park, I'd probably create new paths that lead around the corkscrew. Arrow corkscrew here. 
and make that a path going around right here and just add new attractions on the outside of that and just slowly, you know, uh, get those out. So, oh, that's cooked rice. I was wondering what that was. I was like, is that a snowball or, or what is that? I was trying to figure out what that was. It's rice. It's cooked rice. Apparently. Apparently we have cooked rice, um... Cooked rice emo emojis or whatever. <laughs> I mean, I like cooked rice. All right, let's get a couple of these trees in here too. Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't you make the park bigger uh, enough? What do you mean bigger? Again, this is so the basis of this is that it's a very tiny park. Uh, it's a scenario, so it's going to uh, be up to the user to expand the park bigger. So I probably shouldn't over completely overdo it with trees, but then again, if you delete the trees, you'll get some money back. So it actually helps the user a little bit. See, it's that's why I'm placing these trees, so you can get some extra money. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, I'll see you later for recording. Just message me when you're uh, if you're good. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll still be streaming, but uh, I might, uh, if you're available after I'm done streaming today, maybe we can uh, record that episode and get it out to all the peeps out there. I know a lot of people like the Red River Valley series, so get another episode out to them. Exactly. I subscribed on two accounts. Well, I appreciate the support. <laughs> Some efforts there. I don't really, I kind of have two accounts, but they're all on the same email and everything, so I, I, I just, it's all the same account, but it's multiple channels, I guess you could say. Multiple channels is what it actually is. There's some random number calling me, I don't know that number. I'm very much, I, I never answer phone numbers, I don't know what they are. And if it's important enough, they'll call me, or they'll they'll leave a message, and then I'll call them back if it's something important. <laughs> That's how I am. I'm just like, I don't know you. But if it's important, you leave me a message, okay? Apparently, lay stacks are totally tubular. Wait, what? <laughs> what are we talking about there? Oh, you watched a Lay's ad. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, are you talking about chips? It's like I think I think he's talking about chips. <laughs> just, want, just wanted to be sure that you were talking about chips. Am I adding too many too many trees? I know I know uh, Jacob's gonna say yes. <laughs> too too much. Hey, I'm still getting good frame rates. Nice playable frame like frame rates. Just just saying. All right, you guys want to ride the uh, corkscrew? Let's ride the corkscrew. In case you haven't seen it yet. So I modeled this after corkscrew. I used a Silverwood's corkscrew model as a reference. I think that corkscrew used to be at Knott's, and it got moved to Silverwood, or relocated to Silverwood. I can't remember. I think it was Knott's corkscrew. I can't, I don't remember. 
You're scared? That's okay. You can just scream. But I modeled it off of that, and it's like a mirrored version of it, so it's the same layout, just mirrored. And these layouts are very short and simple, so... It's literally all it is. A, a drop, a turn, double corkscrew, and a turn back into the brakes. That's all it was. <laughs> Now watching. Okay. That's good for now. I, I, I typically work on this uh, off screen as well. Like, it already looks a lot better with the trees in the background. You failed. What'd you fail at? What? What? Yeah, thank you guys so much for being here on YouTube. Again, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna live stream on YouTube more often. I think what do you guys think about that? Does that sound good? You guys like that? Cool? Yeah. And then maybe I'll get set it up to where I'll just stream on both platforms at the same time, because I know you can set that up to where you can actually stream on both at the same time. That way everyone gets a chance to watch, you know? Replace all those trees and replace them with an SLC. Hey, if that's what you want to do as the owner of the park, you go ahead and do it. Whatever your little heart desires, okay? That's a nice little park. Uh, like, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. I need to add some more detail on the back of that, um, that building over there. Even though it's a backstage spot, I'm going to add a couple windows and stuff. Not too much, but... When the park going to reopen... Uh, which one? You <laughs> burn it down. Why do you hate your guests? <laughs> I hate I hate them because they said this beautiful coaster I worked hours on was was too scary and they didn't write it. So they deserve to be punished. <laughs> Okay, you guys ready for the, the main event here? I know you guys are ready for the main event. Silver Dollar City. Takes a while to load. I got all the custom audio back in, thankfully, so. Back in time for STC. Sweet! Perfect! See, perfect timing. That was, that was beautiful timing. It just takes a while to load, so. Ba -da -ba 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 -da so my second outlaw run sign fell off my wall. I haven't put it back up yet. I need to figure out a way to get it to stay better. All I did was put some screws on the outside, and then I came in one morning, and it was literally fell off. It was just on my desk. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't break anything. I dare you to do good in life. Okay. <laughs> I'll do some good. So I do want to do some upgrades to my PC, but it's going to cost a lot of money. So I have to wait till next year. So some of the stuff I want to do Some of the stuff I do want to do is, um, the first thing I, I'm going to do is switch over to AMD, because I'm currently on Intel, on an Intel CPU. I want to switch over to AMD and get a Ryzen 9 5900X, one of the new CPUs. Maybe by the time I can afford it, <laughs> it will be out, you know. I did do Time Traveler, yes. Um, so, for you guys that haven't actually seen much of the park, we'll do a little tour and I got all the, I have different custom audio. I have actually a lot of the sounds from the park and actually in there. I hate money. Why can't everything be free? Because everything would be chaotic, I guess. I guess you could say. We got to stay, we got to, it's got to be, I don't know. <laughs> everything just can't be free. 
Otherwise, we wouldn't have... <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't have stuff like theme parks. You wouldn't have... You wouldn't have employees. I mean, unless you got the technology, like, you know, rob robots to run everything, but... <laughs> and, I mean, but then again, there's no money to be made because everything's free. <laughs> You don't play bus simulator or train simulator? I do not. Man, I can't imagine the uh, load time on this park when it's actually done. Because I still got a lot to do. And I got... Uh, I kind of want... Uh, I don't really want to work on Mystic, but I know I need to. <laughs> uh, Mystic. Did you know? Did I know what? What? <laughs> Did I know what? I'm confused. I don't get it. I don't get it. Bum, bum, bum. Did I know what? Tell me. Tell me the the secret. The what I didn't know. SDC doesn't want to work on Mystic either. That's probably very true. Very, very true, probably. <laughs> Hopefully it has better uptime next season. Did you know? Did I know what? Did you, did, what, what is it that I may or may not know? I need to know. I, if I don't know, I need to know now. Like, I got, I got to know. What are we talking about? That's it. What? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Christmas coming up is... You're making Winter Wonderland or Disney World. I mean, I'm not making anything, now. He doesn't know. <laughs> See, he doesn't even know. He said, did you know? And I don't think he, he even knew. Yeah, I don't know. An airplane joke. It's probably gonna fly over my head, but okay. Or is that the joke? <laughs> what did you think of the next coaster that uh, that SDC will add or is lacking in real life? So I really think they need to get something nice and reliable. I think they need to go B and M next. Um, I think a B and M wing coaster would work really well with the terrain, have a really nice terrain wing coaster, or potentially an B&M invert, because they don't have an inverted coaster at the park yet. And they need something reliable, and you can't go more reliable than B&M, so. Intamin, I would still love to see Intamin too. Um, Intamin's not as reliable though, as the only thing. Intamin is, here's the thing, so, B&M plays it safe. They're very reliable. They have great rides. Not as intense. Um, then again, I haven't rode a lot or everything, so there could be some intense ones out there. But Intamin likes to take chances. They like to really do some crazy stuff. But sometimes that results in more downtime. But SDC has really been going in that direction. Everything they add is very unique. It's something that usually hasn't been done before. Outlaw Run was the first RMC topper track from the ground up. It was the first one that they did from scratch that had inversions. No one's ever had ever seen it before. Time Traveler, the first extreme mock extreme spinning coaster. No one had ever seen that before. They're starting to do stuff like that. And then you have Mystic River Falls, which has kind of been done before, you know, with like Infinity Falls, but an Infinity Coaster from Gersar would be an amazing and make it like uh, mystery mine type theming make it like mystery mine i would absolutely love that i love me some mystery mine it's one it's my second favorite coaster at dollywood and one of my favorite set of all time 
and SDC does not have, you know, there's usually like sister rides kind of, you know, Outlaw Run, Lightning Rod, you know, Wild Eagle, Wildfire, um, Powder Keg, and I would say probably uh, Fire Chaser Express, kind of the same kind of audience on those rides, you know. Uh, Thunderation, Tennessee Tornado, and then there's Mystery Mine, and then there's nothing there. But anyways, we're in, guys! Um, so there's a lot of progress that need, still needs to be made, as you probably will notice, but there's a lot of completed spots as well. So, um, a lot of these areas are literally just buildings, so it won't be too terrible, um, once we get there, but I want to make a lot of progress. Most of the, pretty much all the coasters are in place, so, um... It's just a matter of detailing and getting these paths all filled up with stuff. So you can see where I've really worked on and where I have still to work on. So Time Traveler is one of the areas that I've actually worked on a lot the most. I'm going to keep the audio on so you can hear. But we got the spinning cars in now. I still need to work on this gear here at the exit. I haven't done that yet with the clock. We have the dispatch. Ding dongs. Yeah, we'll get we'll get some rides in. <clears throat> we got it going down the drop, into the dive loop. We got Thunderation right next to it, which I still need to custom support. I wish they had the extreme spinning coaster uh, trains, but this is the closest that we've got. So I do I do need to add the audio, the ready for launch. Hold on. The wave slash overbank turn, and I'm still pr so proud of this vertical loop because it's a custom, fully custom vertical loop. It's not in game. I made that myself. And then we got the zero G roll heading into launch number two. I, I love how I have them crossing over. Too bad we can't dispatch that fast in real life. That's kind of how they intended it. <laughs> it's my biggest time jump yet. All you gotta do is dream big and do good. Papa, we did it. Of course, we got the theme, the music. And this was a pain in the butt, making the entrance and everything. There's my uh, custom-made uh, <laughs> test seat, which looks okay from a distance. Up close, it's just like blocks. <laughs> Charles Henry Clockmakers Company. And there's the break room. And we've got the uh, photos right here. I actually have real windows that you can actually look through to see the, the actual ride. It's incredible. So proud of that. And then I haven't detailed too much up here yet. I want to try and maybe get the ac or pictures of these um, actual theming elements and actually put them in here. That'd be kind of cool. And then... I love how you can slightly hear Sheila in there. I was recording that audio. Where's the announcement? Why isn't the announcement going off? Should be an announcement. I'm not hearing it though. I wonder if that file didn't get in there. We got that. We got miss or er, flooded mine. I almost said mystery mine. With its theme. It needs some work too, but. It was kind of a challenge too, but. And it is popping though. That is one thing. It does. It, it, it be popping. It's not like that in real life, but. <laughs> it be popping. And then. Water bogging tower. I should detail this tower up. And get it all detailed. Um, I haven't really done much in Fireman's Landing. We've got over here the start of Grand Exposition. I've done a tiny bit, but not that much. Um, this took a little while for the cover of the uh, teacups. 
That's going to be Mighty Galleon. We have Electrospin. The uh, Magnificent Wave Carousel. Here's Red Gold Heritage Hall. We head back this way. This is going to be... This is my le This is the area I haven't really worked on at all. And that's uh, Fireman's Landing and kind of the this path over here with the, these buildings and stuff. Um, and then, of course, this is where I've been working on lately, and that's Mystic River Falls, which is kind of glitchy right now. Sometimes it goes down the uh, the drop really slow. Sometimes it goes down it at a, a decent rate, but sometimes it goes down it really slow. We'll see what it does now. See if it's going to go down it slow or fast. It's supposed to go down, down it. Uh... Oh, see you, nobody cares. <laughs> see if it goes down slow. And that's how it should be. It's going down fast. Splash. It doesn't go that fast on the splash down, but I oh, can't really change anything there. And I wish we could do a little bit more with the rapids, but that's not too much, not really possible in, in the game, so it's kind of, kind of difficult. Of course, we got the smoke house coming together, too. I need to get some of the audio clips for, for Mystic. I've only ridden it twice. How quick is the... Is there actually an elevator lift? Not in-game, but I made it look like there is. And with the mod, I can have vertical lifts, so... I kind of hid it in there. So it can get up there. <laughs> Thanks to the mod. Um, so, this is all visual... Uh, just for visual purposes, but I was able to get them up the at least the rafts up there and hide it somewhat <laughs> uh, There's really no way of doing that um, and make it functional at the same time so I, I, I hid the the actual lift that functional lift and made it look like it uses this with the platforms I still need another add another platform on this side How'd you get the mod so there is um a Discord for the Planko modding, and I just joined it, and they have the link for the download there, so you just download it, and you have to replace the main.ovl file with the download, and pretty much it eliminates all your track limits, um, and you can do shorter track segments, you can put any car, any train on any trains on the coasters, so even if that doesn't make any sense, <laughs> same with the track rides. So literally, if I wanted to put a raft on a coaster track, I could. Say if I wanted to do a dive coaster here <laughs> with the raft on it. Uh, Infinite Gaming Studios, you got the link. I don't, do I allow links in YouTube? I might. I don't know if I do or not. Hopefully. I don't, I'm not sure if I have links allowed in YouTube or not. But literally, look at the, the select cards this one. Look at this list. It's crazy. Now, there are a few that will crash the game, so don't do the go-karts. That crashed the game. So we did, like, rolling river. <laughs> you can have the rafts on the coaster. It's funny. It is funny. Like, you can put anything on here. So. And, again, you get, like, one meter... You can get the one-meter track pieces. So, literally... And this goes for track rides as well. And you can go all the way down to one meter track pieces, and it's insane. There's no limits. It pretty much removes the limits. It is a great mod to have. And you can have really long trains. Look at that. That's another in the V2 update. I wonder when V3 is going to come out, but you can put long trains on anything. Like, you can literally make the trains as long as you want. Really cool. I want to download it, but uh, I don't know now. Uh, yeah, just go to the Discord. Um, Infinite Gaming says he's going to get the link. Um, but um, I just joined the Discord, and they will post any updates because they're working on a version 3 of it as well, which will have more modded stuff, so... The great thing about this is you don't have to have it downloaded for it to work. So if you were to download this park without the mod, all the modded stuff is going to work because it didn't add anything to the game. It just, like, changed numbers, pretty much. It just changes the limits. And you can 
put any cars on anything, and it's a really great mod for, like, just getting rid of limits and stuff. And I've never really had... The only time I've had this mod crash the game uh, or anything is when you try to put go-karts on the track of a coaster or something else that's not supposed to be on. That's the only thing that crashes the game because that doesn't actually really work. So, <laughs> so don't do that. It crashes the game. That's the only crash I've experienced since using the mod, so. <clears throat> what else does the mod do? There's, a, I thought there was something else, but that's the main thing, is just like trains and coasters really have no limits. Fluffy's got you, there you go. All right, let's move over here to Outlaw Run. This is probably, this is the most completed area that I have. Complete with the audio. I'm gonna try and avoid copyright if I can. But we have the announcements. Brake runs, as you can hear it. Chasing us if Marshall White hadn't cornered us back there. Here at Silver Dollar City, the good guys always win. Oh yeah, the mod also allows launches on anything and lifts on anything as well. And then I have custom audio for the lift as well. So you're hearing the actual lift audio of Outlaw Run. That's why it sounds different and better. That's actually Outlaw Run's lift audio. Like it sounds like the lift. Sounds like an RMC lift. Got the 153 degree outside bank turn. Sorry for the frame here, guys. The park is huge. <laughs> Here's where the on ride photo is. I even have it flash at night, which is cool. Wave turn with custom supports. And I'm so proud of the barrel roll. The double barrel roll, it's perfect. I, I'm never touching that. I'm so proud of how it turned out. That was a close call, I think I should buy Planet Coast for PS4. I have a keyboard and mouse, so um, I would be able to play with that. That's true, you could. Yeah, I say go for it. Um, might as well. Of course, we got fire in the hole. I'm fast, armed with rifles, wearing masks. Ball bumpers coming wrong near. Everybody's heart is filled with fear. Run, boys, run. Don't be slow. Ball bumpers coming. There's fire in the hole. And we got Powder Keg over here. With custom audio. You might be asking, Joe, how did you do the transfer track on this? Since Powder Keg has a transfer that moves you up to the launch pad section. Got the fire effects and everything. Well, I'm glad you asked, because this is fake. So it doesn't actually move. It's not a real transfer. I have a hidden track that goes underneath and gets it up to this spot. That's how I did that. Outlaw Run's perfect. I I went all out on Outlaw Run. This is fully custom supported on Powder Keg as well. And I also made it to where we could have the switch over from the SNS track to the Buzzsaw Falls track here. Because <clears throat> this is actually the Buzzsaw Falls section that they reused, and it has the flat track. This was definitely diff difficult and challenging to figure out. Because I wanted to have that switch over really bad. And we have the lift. Custom lift audio from Powder Keg's actual lift audio. So this is how Powder Keg's lift actually sounds. And all these supports you're seeing, I pretty much modeled off of reference photos. So like, this support is actually built like this. And you can see the different colors in the support structure. That was on purpose too because this old track is from Buzzsaw Falls, and it doesn't fully match the same color. So 
So I'm really proud of Powder Keg as well. God, it's transfer. And then, of course, I got the spike as well. Pretty proud of Powder Keg. But the way I did it, so I used the infinite track um, because I wanted, again, to have the switch over where it switches the track style like in real life. That was very difficult. I used the infinite track, which does have a flat track style. It doesn't have the diagonal crossbeam, which I'll get to that um, in a minute. But um, I then retraced it with the um, SNS track. So there's literally a static coaster here that doesn't do anything, but it's just it's just retraced track is all it is. It's literally just for the aesthetic of having the SNS track there. So that you're seeing two track types into each other that are traced into each other. And then that way, when I got to this point, I could stop on the SNS track and then just switch to the flat track. Uh, so this is what the whole track on the ride actually is this flat track. And then I used the SNS track to retrace it. It was oh, it was it was crazy. And then, since these didn't have the diagonal cross ties, I actually added scenery pieces to make those diagonal cross ties as well, which took forever as well because I had to put each individual cross tie in all the way through this turn. So you can imagine how how long that took. <laughs> And then Misty's, um, one of my awesome viewers, actually built and helped me with this custom um, catwalk. And it looks beautiful. Uh, Misty's did a great job on it. Like, it looks like it's supposed to be there in game. It was actually a custom catwalk, too. And it looks brilliant. And another fun fact this lift hill is actually a slow launch. Because I didn't, I needed the flat track, and there's not a lift hill that has the flat track, so I just put a launch on it, and then I just put this um, uh, cover to make it look like a lift. So, so you're excited to play it, and we'll probably get it to uh, at Christmas. Nice. So, and then I put this ride down here. This is just a quick draw, and I put it right here. So when I record the video, when I actually create a cinematic video, I'm going to make it look like the transfer is real, and I'm going to use this to give that illusion. So when I record it, I'm going to do some movie magic, you could say. So this is how it's going to work. This is going to go here, and I'm going to blend the recordings from the POV into this to go from here so it looks like it's moving up. I'll probably speed this footage up a little bit, too. And it'll look like it's taking you up right there. And I'm going to blend the two together so it looks like it's uh, blended in together. So that's how that's going to work. That's that's what the purpose of that's, there, that's for. So when I actually upload it to the workshop, this won't be here. It's only going to be purposes for... Um, uh, for... Um, uh, making the movie magic stuff happen to make it look real. <laughs> and over here we got American Plunge and Wildfire. Um, still a work in progress as well. I haven't done too much over here. Just kind of outlined Wildfire. Haven't done much of it. And started slightly on custom supporting it. Not too much. I didn't go too far. Just mainly the lift hill and part of the first drop. Um, and it turned out great. I, have, I love the custom audio on this one as well. <clears throat> but Wildfire's being him sit down, kind of like Kumba, except probably not as good as Kumba. Never been on Kumba, but I hear it's the best being him sit down out there. And we have the observation deck out here because Wildfire is the most aesthetically pleasing um, ride at Silver Dollar City. Like, it's the it's it's the most photogenic ride. Wildfire sunsets. It has probably the best view in the park at the top of the lift because you get the view of the lake out in the distance, and it's beautiful. Now, I just got the game for Xbox, and I was wondering if you could give tips on how to make good path systems, please. Absolutely, I'll show you. Hey, I just got... Oh, you just missed it twice. <laughs> just hauls nonstop. So, 
I'll show you how you can work on your pads. Um, hopefully the console edition works just the same. Um, again, this is the PC, so it should be the same in theory, but for instance, um, to get more realistic pathing into the game, um, I'll show you an example here. A good way to do that, say if you have like an intersection here, and I use this all the time. And I don't know if it's actually a glitch in the game or if it's meant to be that way, but this pretty much smooths your paths out and makes it a little bit more realistic sometimes. So what you want to do, I don't know, I don't know the controls on on the console edition, but on a keyboard, you hold down the Z key and you can rotate this anywhere. So you want to go in your corners at your intersections, place down a small path right there, and if you delete it right after, it smooths your path out. That one didn't work very great, but you can do it a couple times, and you see how it smooths it out, like rounds it out. And it's and you can do that to all your corners here. Actually, and everything that's highlighted is what it's going to smooth out to. So if I do that to my, all my corners, you can see that it's going to give us some rounded corners here. So this is a great, great thing to use for when you're p doing pathing and stuff. Um, and I use it all the time. It's really, really handy. It doesn't always work um, if you start using it too much in some in the same spot. But Wildfire is your favorite ride at SDC. Nice. Uh, my favorite, personally, is Outlaw Run. <clears throat> but you can see that's that's usually how I kind of do my pathing and everything. It's a really good, really good tip. Um, uh, to get better flowing paths and like wider paths and you can uh, sometimes use it on like the grids so if you did like a say a wide grid piece here sometimes I do this but you just want it to flow with your other paths so say if I do that and I've got like a not as wide path connected to it so I kind of want to get my path wider so if you want to get it like further than the max width, because it only goes so width for, far out, you can do the um, that stuff, and then go in here, do it in the corners, and you can like smooth that out. That for some reasons glitching doesn't always do, shouldn't always do that, but you can do it a couple times here. You can see it kind of smooths it out. Um, for some reason, it's kind of not looking good right now. But you can do select a lot of it and just kind of smooth it out. That's what I do a lot for my pathing to kind of flow it together a little bit. Um, but pathing can be a little bit difficult, especially if you're working with terrain. That's where it becomes really difficult. So that would probably be my tips on on pathing a little bit and how I get my paths kind of really big plazas and stuff is just kind of using that to my advantage and sometimes it can take a while to get the shaping you want out of it too it's not always gonna work but you make it work okay so um let's do let's work on some stuff shall we i'm gonna open up my window just because it is burning hot in my office right now so I was just at branson west walmart and saw Wait, what? Saw somebody leaving with a piece. What the heck? I was just there last night. They didn't have any. <laughs> you joking. You joking. Should I go over there now? <laughs> I was just there last night. And they didn't have any. Philip, you be you be lying. <laughs> Dang. Oh, JK, Joe K5, what's up, by the way? <laughs> Ouch! Step on Sunshine and all the, all the stuff, you know. 
You saw someone picking... Oh, they probably had... It was probably for pickup only. I'd imagine they probably bought it online and chose the pickup option. If I had to guess. I don't think you can just walk in and ask for one. Because they usually have in stock for kind of reserved, so you can't just like go in and buy it. That's a, probably what it was doing. But that's that's interesting. Very interesting. You have a fire alarm that needs the battery changed? What? I do? I haven't heard the chirping. Well, at least I don't think I have. I haven't heard any chirping. Um, let's see, where are we gonna work on? What are we gonna work I do have some reference photos on my phone that we can use here for Mystic. Took some more pictures. <sighs> so I got pictures of this little seating area. I think we're gonna work on it a bit. Trying to get things. You don't hear it? No, I don't. Uh, I mean, unless it's because I have my headset on and I don't hear it. Trying to get things resolved with zero. I think they're giving us seven months to go three months. It's okay, even though I took payments for all over the months. I got all these mystic photos. Photos at mystic. Let's work on this a little bit more. There's a few details I need to add to it. Bum, 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 bum. You gotta go. Oh, yeah, you came back. And now you're gonna go again. Alright, we'll see ya. <laughs> We want the shorter piece of this, the short, shorter wood piece. And we're gonna go about right here. Let's get this color real quick saved. Oop, there we go. We gotta have matching colors here. Matching. Bum, bum. Passes were bought for a year plus three additional months. But due to cover, they think they're giving us 10 is a fair deal. Oh gosh. So you bought um, passes. Got you. Okay. I only get four months of Iron Gwazi and Icebreaker, which opened in April 2021. The fire alarm actually might teach. Oh. <laughs> Gotcha. Hey, I thought you were leaving. <laughs> you keep popping back in. <laughs> see, you don't want to leave. I see. You don't. You don't want to. Want to keep watching, don't you? I came back, but. <laughs> All right, it's bullet. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks so much for joining the stream today. Hope you guys are having an excellent day. Wonderful, excellent, just beautiful. You know, the most beautiful day that you possibly can. It's 
thought I got some nice clear photos of the inside of this. Let me see. Not as clear as I thought they were. All right. <laughs> Uh, there is a opening right there, so maybe if I scooch this on over a little bit, just a just a little smidge. Like, oh, those windows are part. Of course, those windows are part of this. Why wouldn't they be? Why wouldn't these windows be with the other other one? Yeah, I forgot they're custom. Gosh, and an autosave. Why does autosave always go off when I'm doing something? Got the passes in October in 2019, so they were good for the 2020 season, but when the park closed in March, they kept taking payments. <clears throat> uh, did you like try to cancel it or something? Like, did you try to get a refund on them? Or did you, uh, or what? I think uh, for Silver Dollar City, they made it to where uh, the 20, they're good through all of next season now. Which is nice. At first, it was just going to be part of the season, and now I think, they, I think they ended up changing it finally to the entire season. So. A lot of people were upset. Like, come on, you should make it all of next year. So our city is over here struggling as, since they're business and struggle mode right now with all uh, not being able to get as much money from stuff. It's like, okay, they finally, they finally kind of said, all right, we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> is this still to June? I thought, I thought they, cha I thought I saw something that they changed it to where it's all year now. I thought I may have saw that, but. Maybe they didn't change it, but I thought they did. So they can, okay, so they, that's right, they can extend it for a, like a, like a lower price. So if they want to extend it all the way through, it would be at a lower price. Got you. That's what, I think that's what it was. That'll be cheaper to, um, uh, extend it all the way through the year. That's what it was. That's right. Really upset the locals by getting rid of those four classic rides. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. So we get closer to June, the price will go up until it's the same as buying a season pass. Got you. See, I, I knew, I knew something, sometimes. I don't know stuff all the time, but I knew I knew this stuff sometimes. I knew something was going on there. Heads a new coaster. I'll have an excuse to go again. Yeah, maybe in a few years, we'll see. Potentially. Maybe, maybe someday again. It's so like for this, I think I'm just gonna do, or cover this up with a path cover, okay? And call it good. These, these things, these, Half cover pieces are actually very handy. I do use them quite a bit. Now for the uh, the dark ter terrain, I usually use the or the, like the tarmac or the asphalt. I'll use the um, the terrain painter because it, it blends in very very good. Especially with Dollarwood put an eye box on Lightning Run. I could see them doing that to Outlaw like in 20 years or so, maybe not. 20 might be a, a little bit too long, but you know what I mean? I could see them doing that someday to Outlaw one, if it ever gets to the point where it's just a pain in the butt, which it already is a pain in the butt sometimes for maintenance. <laughs> I know that from experiments. 
ex ex experience. I know maintenance has cried saying, I'm not cried, but like said that I wish they would do that to Outlaw. Because, <laughs> I mean, Outlaw has its issues um, as well, you know. Lightning Rod obviously had more issues, but like the iBox track is just so much lower maintenance than the topper is what I'm kind of getting at there. Because you have to do track work way more often. I don't know. I guess, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then obviously, um, Lightning Rod just had it in an extreme, more extreme way. There we go, that's where we want that. That is where we want that. All right, what kind of chairs and tables should I use here? We'll... We can make this work. So um, we're gonna use picnic benches and that way it actually does work the way it should. Everything's gonna be great. So let's go to park benches. Let's see what we got. The... See, I wish they had something with chairs, not like just th these, but I think I think this is going to be the best bet for this area. But I do wish we had like something with tables and chairs. I like the picnic benches too, but give me chairs. Maybe Planet Coaster 2, you know. I remember when they announced picnic benches, everyone went crazy. And Frontier made a big deal out of it. You guys got it. Picnic benches. <laughs> yeah, why why can't we place these all like a grid option would be great and another good option would be able to use the advanced move tool with it. Because I can't do that. I can't move this into a straight line. That was another issue I have with the placing benches. I want to use the advanced move so I can move it completely straightened and have it completely symmetrical. I have to eyeball it every time, you know? I just kind of have to like, oh yeah, that's lined up as best as I'm gonna get it. <laughs> that's how I have to do it instead of being able to just slide it over. Okay, I might put one in the middle here and then call it good for that. So this is how I get it straightened out as best as possible. See, it's not going to be perfect, but if I just move my screen, it doesn't move left or right, so it at least stays straightened as best as I can anyways see as long as you're not like looking too hard you won't notice the difference So I haven't put this on this side yet because I was just going to copy it on over. That's going to be the idea there. Once I had this all done here. Okay, I can actually copy one of these at the, the top peak, you know. Transfer tracks would be cool, but I could see them not putting in for a good reason. Because it just wouldn't probably have any functionality. I mean, they could make it have functionality by making real transfers, but you know, you don't. They're not gonna probably do that. They could make some visual stuff, but overall, they're probably. They're, I don't. I don't see it. They could. <clears throat> Switch tracks and drop tracks, I think, are a must, though. 
Those are stuff that we want, that we gotta get in the game. Those are some stuff that we definitely could use. That is for sure. All right, um, let's get some lights and I'm gonna get that fencing up here as well. So it's kind of like a nice little lantern. I think what we could do is just use the oil lamp. Place it right on in here like this. It's just kind of like hanging, like just latched right on. I mean, that's how it's sitting, so we'll just we'll just keep it that way. Since they were working on with Disney, what do you think of the coaster types they'll use in Planet Coaster 2? So I think we could definitely see Disney, uh, since they're most likely partnering with Disney, we could probably see a lot of different coaster types for Disney overall. What kind? It's a very good question. I mean, I don't really know. You know, I think hopefully they'll add a lot of stuff people have been requesting that we haven't gotten in the first game, so that's what I'm hoping overall, but it's just kind of unknown at this point, and it's just so far down on the line that it's just kind of hard to to know, you know, kind of hard to figure out, because it's probably going to be quite a few years. Hey, Jesse Gonzalez, what's up? How you doing? Welcome, welcome to the stream. We're over here working on Mystic River Falls and my Silver Dollar City recreation. <clears throat> Gotta clean a lot of stuff up still though. A lot of stuff. It's gonna look good when it's done though. See, I hope they revamp the uh, water rides in Planet Coaster 2, because I feel like they didn't put a whole lot of effort in making the water rides that great in Planet Coaster. They're just, they're just there, you know? I feel like they put them in there to say, all right, we gave you water rides, you know? <clears throat> I was like, they need some more water rides, and they just don't have enough options, like... The, ver the V-Lift and the Rapids rides that you're starting to see now would be nice for, like, you know, Mystic River Falls, Infinity Falls. Little things like that would actually be really nice to have. You know, just more just more water rides. Um, a, a mock power splash would be a really cool addition. That would be a welcome addition. I would love to see those in there. I mean, you could probably... I think someone's actually did one on the workshop. I had to check that out actually. I think someone did one on the workshop that's actually pretty nice. So I was looking to see if this fence goes around here and it does. Just wanted to make sure get some conformation. are playing their next three games at the Card Stadium. Really? Why? Is their stadium out of order? Or, or what's going on there? <laughs> out of order, just like a like a bathroom or something, or a toilet that's out of order. <laughs> hey, what's up? If you search Pulsar on the workshop, you could find a really good mock power spot. Yeah, I think they used the mock water coaster for it. I haven't checked it out. I saw it on the workshop, but I haven't checked it out yet, and I really want to check it out. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Once we get some rock work in here, kind of finish. You know what? Let's do that now. Let's get some rock work in here. I'm going to actually get out of the scenery editing there. 
Santa Clara County shut down all contact sports due to rising COVID cases. Oh, wow. So they're just going to play in a different stadium. Interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna try and get some, get a lot of different rocks going in here eventually so they don't all look the same, if you know what I mean. We're gonna get them all looking nice. The only thing I'd like to see Planko 2 add is the way to hide the lead engine on the mine train. You don't like, uh, uh, I like, do not, I guess there's some out there that doesn't have the uh, front car, I guess. That, uh, that little um, choo-choo style train <laughs> um, design. I guess not all mine trains have that, now, thinking, now that I'm thinking about it. I think there is kind of like a little gate up here that uh, can be accessed by uh, maintenance. I haven't been in this area all that much, actually. Oh yeah, RMC Raptors would be awesome. Um, I think that's uh, one that we could see. Definitely one of the new coaster types we would see in Plant Coaster 2. I mean, they already have the freaking T-Rex, why, why wouldn't they have the Raptor, you know? I'm surprised they didn't put it in one. I could see, definitely, definitely see it coming to two, because it's one of the most requested. That and the Mach Extreme Spinning Coaster. Access Coaster could be very possible as well. <clears throat> Probably be quite a few years before we see a T-Rex, like quite a few years. Because I think it, they're still developing it. And it won't be ready for actual parks for still quite a few years, I think. As far as I know. If you zoom out a little, I could help you for that gate. Yeah, I think, like I said, I think there's a little access point here where they there's a little platform, I think. I don't have a good reference photo of it, but I could find something online, maybe. Wait, I do... Maybe I do have a photo of it. Because I took photos from this spot, looking out onto the... I was like, my layout isn't 100% completely accurate. I did the best I could with what I had to work with, because this is way too high compared to this. It, it, there's not that much of a change in the height uh, <laughs> in real life. So that is an inaccuracy right there, but we're gonna work with it. Kinda wanna play Madden. Yeah, I kinda we should do that too. <laughs> but new gen Entomin coaster like Velocicoaster, that would be great. So I thought about going back in and maybe potentially fixing that a little bit so they're not as uh on level there, but I had to go this low so it's level with this and it's just when you're working with terrain and everything and terrain parks recreations it gets a little uh thing so that back right corner has a gate and walkway uh which side is it on is it this side or this side and i don't know what the what it looks like i need i need reference photos and there's actually not a whole lot of rocks here there's just rocks on the edges actually over here so I could probably actually delete a lot of this and there's like a couple small trees sitting there too let's get some of the terrain there's a lot of leaves on there at the in the picture I took but there's also stairs that lead down into the channel let's 
See, I haven't been around Mystic that much. I just have not. I'm gonna get that tree in here. I'm gonna really get this one spot detail. <laughs> There's a little tiny tree over here. This is like probably the best tree I could probably go with. It's this one. <laughs> uh, top three, Planko. Top three for Planko. I'm assuming you meant two, but accidentally put three. But Raptor, S and S, 40, free spend, Vacoma's new tracks. Definitely a good top three. Don't tell JL to be on back. I mean, I, I, I can see you, man. I can see you. You can't hide from me. So these these rock rock structures don't don't really go all the way up here. They just kind of hug the uh, hug the wrap around a little bit there. I'm gonna add some different colors on the rocks as well, so they don't look all the same. Cause they're not all that same color, you know. Just add a maybe like a few rocks in here that are. Slightly different colors. Add some. Because the, the rock work really only is around the edges of the uh, the channels and everything, so. Do I watch any theme park YouTubers? I do. Or Planko ones, yes. I, I mean, I watch Silverette. Sometimes I watch Rudy a, few, a little bit. Um... I don't watch Planko too often, but for the most part I do, yeah. See, and then maybe we can put some some of the small rocks kind of hanging out. Maybe a little bit and put in some Shrubbery just to kind of give more 3d make it look more like 3d grass a little bit and away Doesn't necessarily have to be like oh This is 100% accurate or anything. Just just trying to get some Detail in there that is Looking a little bit, you know more Fine-tuned That way the rocks just don't look too plain and, and boring. We want to add a little bit extra in there, you know. One thing about raft rides is they, they, they take a lot of effort to really get the rock work and stuff. Because pretty much all of the, your raft rides usually have some sort of rock work in it um, surrounding them. So... <clears throat> in some way, shape, or form, we're going to have to Add some rocks right here as well on this turn around. I know, I wish, ugh. this is actually the spot where you get the most wet on uh, <laughs> that little splash right there, but in Planko, you can't really make big splashes, so. Hey, you're back, three coaster types and two drains I'd like to see. RMC Raptor, SNS, 40 free spin, and Vekoma's fam suspended family coaster uh, trains would be Entomin Blitz and 4C Wooden. I would like to see, a, yeah, all the different um, wooden coaster cars and stuff like that would be nice. Um, and then, you know, just basically more coaster cars would be nice, too. Have them all and just have some generic ones. And be, give it to where you can put custom images on the cars as well. So if you want to put, like, a logo for one of them on the front of the car or something, say like uh, the B and M sit down, I could put the Silverdar City logo like it is in real life. I think it has the Silverdar City logo in front of Wildfire, but something like that, you know, and just make a PNG photo and put it on there, so it has a transparent background. That would be really cool that you, that you could put those custom logos on and everything. That would be very nice. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find some maybe references of this over here i'm gonna first start with the pov of mystic and see if maybe we get a good shot of it or not that is going to be the um okay so uh mystic river 
Fall Silver Dollar City. POV! Oh gosh, it's loud. Okay, let me get to the spot we need to be at. And that is... Where are we at right now? Right, right before... That's going into the tunnel. So this is right about where we need to be. I might make custom walls that go up over these channels too. Because they are higher. Alright, there it is, there it is. Don't turn, it's turning. Okay, so I see that walk that I think Harley was talking about that goes down over here. I can see railings and some steps. From like, around here and going down here. I don't really know if there's much more, if it's just like a little platform and that's it, or, or what. <sighs> Alright, so here we have a little turnaround, so I can really see. So this is at this point right here, I think. Yeah, so that's that point, I think. And now it's going down this way. And going to the turnaround here in uh, POV. Okay. I think let's try and make some custom walls for this because it's a, raised a lot higher up in the real ride than the end game. So um, we should probably do that. Gotta have vintage eight seats, the beast six seater, Millennium Flyer two seat, no force. I know a lot of people want the staggered trains as for the BM hyper as well. The Voyage, the Legend, and so on. Ability to add a logo on the lead car or side of the trains would be amazing, definitely. Um, <clears throat> there's a bunch of uh, ones I could do with all the inverts rides. I'd like to see the BM hyper coaster trains, like all in Diamondback, Timber and Behemoth. <clears throat> yeah, like the staggered, even though I don't have the game five. I want is BM staggered hyper seating, GCI hybrid, um, the Raptor launch RMC hybrid, and extreme spinning coaster. Definitely all, all of the above, yes, absolutely. Um, so I would like, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, the, B, the ability to have two tones on the um, BM track, kind of like on what you would see for Val Raven or. Um, uh, or Fury, you know, where the bottom is a different color from the rest of it. And obviously make the B&M spines thicker and have options for thicker spines. Um, that is a must. We need that. <laughs> thicker spines. Let's do it. Alright, what would be the best way to do this wall? I have a couple ideas. And the first one that came to mind was using the coaster supports but use like the thick ones and cover it up with rocks with the extra pieces. I was thinking about doing like the largest ones I could find and the outside could be covered up with the rocks, like the, the top parts. The access coaster would definitely be cool. I think I could see them doing that. Can you not, can you not change the color of that one? You can't, wow. Interesting, I mean, I'm gonna have to do tighter turns anyways, if I'm gonna be honest, so. Let's just try and find the thickest one we can. See, these are different from these. I feel like this is a pretty solid size. Potentially, so if I did this, so what we want basically is to have some kind of raised up walls is what I'm going for here. Instead of using, making it look like the end game walls. I think it, it just will look better overall. And it's a little more accurate and <laughs> I know it's going to take a ton of time, but if I work on this a little bit each day, 
you know, it will eventually get done. You know, I don't, because I have to do both sides. And I know, I know it, it, it's crappy, time consuming, all of the above. <laughs> it's the, the things that no one wants to do, but kind of need to. <laughs> One place I want to go to is Alleged Gardens. I've heard bad things about Alleged Gardens. I heard it's horrible. Just what I've heard. I've never been there, but I've heard it's bad. I've heard it sucks. Or not really good, anyways. Hey, Joseph, thanks. See if we can get this going. Dun, 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 dun. Where are we at? All right. We've been live for a little over two hours now. Cool. So I'm probably not gonna do too much of this. I'm just going to like get it started, you know? Because again, I want to focus kind of on this one one area over here. Let me go from there. Hey, I heard yoga. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate that. Be back in like an hour if you're still streaming. All right, <laughs> gotta go again. We'll see if I'm still streaming. I'm not sure if I will be. Still going or not. We'll, but, but we'll see. We got a little bit of a dip here, so we want to make sure we kind of flow with that. And I think we'll go to about right up here and go back to the other side. Um, did I make this a part of a group? We should probably make this a group um, so we can just select it all once. A little bit easier. Now it's all in a group. Hey, Rebecca, what's, Rebecca, what's up? How are you doing? Also, these subscriptions that I'm getting, they might not even be watching the stream, they just subscribed. But, it's still cool to see that we got subscribers going on, so. <laughs> it's kind of like a nice little notification saying, hey, you got a, another subscriber. Whether or not they're watching the live stream or not. So I assume that it pops up no matter what. Oh gosh, it's auto-saving. That's what's going on. I got one or two of the two remaining aerodynamic shuttle loop coasters. Uh, oh, at a Lich Gardens. Yeah, I've, uh, one's at Frontier City as well, right? I can't remember if I rode that, because I have been to Frontier City, and it was theirs, but I don't remember riding it at all, you know? Because I was little, and that's why my coaster count sometimes is kind of hard to remember, because I only count the things that I remember, and I don't remember riding that, so... I remember riding Silver Bullet at uh, Frontier City, which is a Schwarzkopf, I think. <clears throat> I think it was called Silver Bullet. Not to be confused with the B&M Invert at Knott's. I think it was called Silver Bullet. It was their Schwarzkopf. I do remember riding that one. And I think I rode one of their wood coasters. Probably didn't because it's always closed. Oh, yeah, I probably didn't. I just do not remember at all. I, I, I typically remember most things that I rode because when I went to Frontier City, I was I was I was little, um, not little to where I couldn't ride any coasters or anything, but I was I was pretty young. 
And it's it's one of those I just don't remember that much, so. Because I remember riding co the, some of the coasters. Don't remember them well. <laughs> I thought Frontier City was horrible, too, when I was a kid. Like, I didn't really like it at all. I need to go back again. Uh, now that's owned by Six Flags, which is actually, I think, a good thing for that park. <laughs> Are you live on Twitch? I'm not live on Twitch right now, no. But I think in the future, I'm going to try and go live on both platforms at the same time. Uh, if I can figure it out, that is. <laughs> I'm sure it's not too hard to figure out, but... I think there's a software you can get where you can go live on multiple places and stuff. And we'll get it all uh, figured out. You know. Find a coaster. I need some music, man. I'm not... I'm trying to... S Trying to avoid copyright music right now, so. <laughs> Trying to, anyways. Alright, I think that's good for now. That's what we're gonna get started with. And then, like, next time we do it, we'll, we'll work a little bit on this sign, and stuff like that. So. See, I should have probably done this first and then done the rocks, because I'll probably. Just put the. I'm gonna find small enough ones. Hmm. So I'll probably just place like some rock work on top of this, kind of like how it is in real life. Just kind of have it blend in. They don't have really any small ones of the, uh, kind of the tannish colored rocks, so. Because they're kind of just sitting on top of the wall. In a way, so. Why? What are you doing? I'm not placing you down. I'm trying to drag you. Let me drag you. <laughs> We've got John at Magic Springs used to be the mine train at Dollywood. Yeah, I remember um, seeing that before. I don't think I've been to Magic Springs. I think I've been there, but I just didn't go into the park. I remember seeing um, the Mauer Scott, or the Ma Mauer, it's Mauer, right? The uh, Sky Loop, is that what it's called? I remember, I feel like I remember seeing that in person. And I can't remember if I actually wrote it. Because I feel like I potentially may have. I don't know. Like, my childhood is all blur. <laughs> At some points, you know. I wish I would have kept count. Because, I mean, that's when I first started getting into coasters as a kid and stuff, so... Lampposts. There are some like lampposts that go over, and we have to do the amazing lighting that Mystic has around the the, the ride too. It's got a pretty sick light package. They hooked a, hooked Mystic up with some pretty nice lights. Oh, yeah, we're talking RVs. Nice. I don't know if there's an actual tree here, but I kind of want to put one down. Just to kind of fill the area. You know? See the, see how this is looking? That's how I want the rest of the light, ride to kind of eventually look around the ride. Some, some uh, Along those lines. It's kind of like that kind of style. 
So I think I'm gonna work on it in sections. So like today, for instance, we're gonna work on a little bit right here, maybe, maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure. And then the next time we'll work maybe over in this area or something, you know. Kind of detail each spot until it finally gets done. Maybe I can make this look a little bit better if I edited this section and made this drop maybe a little bit bigger and then it would be a little bit closer and not as much differed differ there. Obviously this is lower, but it's not that much of a difference. Like it's literally like maybe right here. And I think that's something that we could potentially fix. And it is a little buggy the way it is right now too. So maybe we can fix that. So um, I have two pieces of track covering each other here. One is to cover, basically cover all the um, naked spots, which I believe is this, because we have launches uh, placed down, for a good reason, by the way. We have launches down to make it flow faster because Plant Coaster, you can't change the current speed um, on the ride, so we want to be able to make it go a little faster when it goes through here. When it, because when you go down this little dip here, it like it starts hauling. Like it starts moving. This thing spins more than Time Traveler, by the way. But it's the most intense rapids ride I've ever been on. If that tells you anything. Okay, so target speed, 60 miles an hour, perfect. <laughs> Let's just make it a little drawn, more drawn out and go down further here. I think that's gonna be a good idea, will be our best idea here. See, it's already a little bit better, and while it does this, we will start going downhill as well. To where you almost can't really notice it, but it's going to be going downhill that way when we go by each other right here. It's going to be a little, a little bit better, you know. Hmm. <laughs> on our review during class. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, like this terrain here is amazing. Is it just gently sloped uh, to the lake portion? Oh, yeah, yeah. So like where the water is, it is um, just slightly underneath the water. So the actual water is in the channel. Uh, in that spot, yes. Makes it look a little bit more realistic in my opinion, or it looks better. I need to buy tickets to hear the money I don't have to get, but I don't have. <laughs> yeah, so let's keep going down here. This probably still won't be perfect, but that's okay. We do need to, we're gonna go ahead and just Give it a slight bank too. That's what we need to do. Because with the mod, you can actually bank everything too, like even the water rides. And I kid you not, there is slight banking in Mystic River Falls. Like the channel literally rotates a little bit for these turns. It does, it does. I think I'm gonna have less launch sections around here. Kind of mainly focus on, let me um, get the POV back up here so I can see exactly where all of our uh, stuff is here. So I can get each of the rapid sections in properly. 
So when it does go down this little drop, it does have a straight section for a minute. Let's make sure we get that in there. I've redone this layout so many times. Yeah, we're gonna keep going down here. And this is actually a pretty tight turn. In. Like, it actually does turn pretty tight here in the actual thing. So, we're going to have a pretty nice tight turn here. So, it's going to go around. And then, I think we'll go down around over here is where we hit the next rapid part. Where there's actually a rapid section, you know. Um, which would be cool. Anyways, the goal here is to make sure that this isn't as high, or too much higher than this. It's higher, but we don't want it to go too much higher. Okay? Okay? And there's not many sections where the track is just flattened. It, like... Most of the time, it is just moving, you know. Yeah, that's much better. It's not, still not perfect, but. It's going to go up into, right behind this, it's going to go up into a little bit of a rapid spot. And then that's when it goes into the turnaround, so. We have one rapid spot that we need to kind of throw in here. Go a little bit less here. Actually, for this, we're going to put in a linear sequence launch. So what I like to do for the rapids is kind of launch upwards a little bit. So it goes up and then it splashes down because that's what it actually does. You know, it kind of has a, kind of launches you up a little bit when the, with the flow of the water and it just kind of splashes you. So we're gonna gain a slightly a little bit of height here also going to make this a rapids piece. We're going to rotate it a bit and go kind of down. Back to normal. And then we also use the rapids piece so you can visually see the, the rapids coming through. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and do a tiny bit of banking. Because it literally kind of goes left and right quite a bit here. It's cool. Where are we at here? 12 feet, 5 feet. So that could actually... Still be all right. We might um, get a little bit closer before we connect it. that for now. So basically I only have two spots I really need to throw in here. That will hopefully fix the, the launching issue there. I'm hoping. 
Alright, let's turn track supports off. Alright, let's get let the raft get here, that way we can figure out where this needs to go. Hopefully the launches are okay too. Oh yeah, it's moving. It's moving. Doesn't have to be perfect because it is going to be covered up eventually. Then we just need to get over there. Might slow that down a little bit because that's a little too fast. Let's, it launched that thing, man. I love how it even has the launching sounds. <laughs> it's pretty funny. pieces don't matter too much, we're just... Oh my gosh, it's way too fast there. I want it to be fast, but not that fast. Literally, all I do need to do is cover that piece of, right there up. That's all we gotta do. I guess I should rotate this a little bit with the uh, actual pieces, just a little bit. As long as it's kind of hidden. That's all it that matters. It just needs to be hidden. Ah! You ever heard uh, a launch on a uh, <laughs> rapids ride? I mean, it pretty much launches you. Oh crap. I messed this up. Come on. I can't get a hold of it now. Dang it. need to get to this one piece and we should be good I do feel it's a bit more accurate now which is good Shrink it back down to where we want it to be. And we're just covering up those uh, launch gaps. Got to retrace it a little bit. So I have it double tracked all the way right there, so. And hopefully that will fix the uh, glitch I was getting with the boats running into each other for some reason, and it was randomly stopping at some of the launches. I know I sound crazy saying that since it's a rapid raid, but. one sort of does. <laughs> Alright, all we want to do is get you connected with the uh, this guy. That's perfect. That works. 
Okay. All right, hopefully that helps with some of the glitches that we were happen, having with that. So that, that looks a, a little bit better. Um, let's go ahead and slow the launch down a little bit. <laughs> Over here. Gotta find it first. There it is. All right. So we're going to go from 60 miles an hour to 34 and make the acceleration a little bit less. And I feel almost feel like this one over here could have went a little bit faster. It's a short piece. There it is. And this one we're going to launch it a little bit at a higher rate, so just a little bit. All right, we'll let the test go. Um, I had a dispatch interval set for 35 seconds. That way they space out a solid amount. And we got six boats, which is about all we need, because that's about all it usually, it doesn't usually run much more than that in real life anyways, even if it can. It usually doesn't. <laughs> uh, we can ha actually have some of the spare boats sitting out here in the water. There's a new. We can do that with, since we have the mod now working in our favor. All right, we're going to see how well this goes. Sometimes the dispatch interval wasn't working and. That was an issue that we were having. <clears throat> so we'll see how everything works now. After adjusting the launch section. Oh my gosh, my mouse. What are you doing? My mouse wasn't moving. Is my battery's going dead? I haven't gotten a notification that my battery's dying. Should probably charge them anyways. Put I have rechargeable batteries in my mouse. I like that. That's not too bad. It's supposed to go fast through the rest of this whole part, but I'm only going to be able to do so much with it because this is kind of hard with the limitations in Planko, so. <clears throat> See, I wish we could make the current faster in certain spots. That would be great. Up out a lot. I need a ring light, like my face just isn't well lit. This is the part we worked on the most. See how it looks with the new wall in place. Something pretty good. I like it. Of course, have the waterfall going down right there, which we have not put in yet. Madness calling you. Oh, we should play some games. I should. We gotta play, or we gotta record Red River Valley. Uh, Gunner, if you're still in the chat, are you available at the moment? Or are you still working on it? You have almost done? Or when, what what time are you going to be available? I think you said pretty soon. I don't know if he's in class still or not. So. Oh, there you are. I'm I'm so excited to get the park back. Like I am I'm getting mo I'm motivated and excited, you know. Super super psyched. Anytime, okay. I don't know how much longer I'll be live, but all right. <laughs> this is the one part we don't mention. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> I'm wondering how I'm going to pull that off with some movie magic when I do some POVs on it. 
I'm gonna have so when the, the park's done, I'm gonna have so many videos on this. All right, so far the the drop hasn't glitched out at all yet. Oh yeah, I need to get the um the cat the little walkway that goes right here. There's a big o there's a big uh walkway right there. It has steps and everything. I need to get a picture of that. It's right next to my um literally right next to my break room so and it just sits there and I could easily get a picture of it no problem <clears throat> yeah I'm gonna keep working on mystic a little bit each day. I need to like dedicate myself to work out a little bit on it each day that way I don't burn myself out on it because I, I got to the point where I'm kind of getting burnt out on working on just mystic because <laughs> I've been trying to like complete more and more stuff pushing out this way so like we go to through um wilson's farm here trying to complete stuff getting all this done out here and trying to complete more and more going out here i wonder if i can get reference photos of this theater maybe i can get that building started let's see um silver dollar city Riverfront Playhouse, because that's the name of it. Okay, so we got a we got a couple of pictures here. That is, I was like, there's more here than I thought there was going to be. So that's a good good sign. Hey, there's a fir there's the first aid a picture of first aid. Maybe we can go work on first aid. <laughs> there's a reference photo there, so it works, right? Not seeing much more here, though. Okay, I know that part of the building. I'm probably going to have to get my own pictures. So, next time I'm on park, right before the park opens, I'm going to go probably head over to this area, because I want to start working in this area a bit. So we can start developing this area, and then maybe do some more Fireman's Landing. I need to do more fire. I, I keep neglecting Fireman's Landing. Like, a lot. <laughs> I just might use uh, parts of Darren's in some thing, some parts. But we'll see. I'm, I'm kind of using his as a little bit of a reference. A little bit, so... He's done a really good job with this. I was like, I would just go ahead and use his, but his scaling compared to mine is just a lot, a lot different, and my scaling has to be a little bit bigger for what I'm going for. Because my the way I'm kind of going about it is I'm mostly scaling things slightly up a little bit to kind of match Planet Coaster style in a way. So I'm going to have a couple, few contributors, that's for sure. Uh, when I do uh, do it, I need to make sure I credit everybody that's helped in this, um, for, for sure. So Misty's, Darren, <clears throat> a couple others. All right, guys, you guys want to check out Fire in the Hole? Are there actually people on it? Oh, we're in the pitch black section. I can't see anything. I wish I could make this transition to this dark part a little bit better. I don't think anyone's on it. <laughs> I wish I'd get the excitement rating higher on this thing. It makes me sad. All our homes are ashes now. Run, boys, run. Don't be slow. This is the more exciting part anyways. So you got the 
this part of the train. Turned out great, I thought. I thought I did that transition pretty good with the, the black part and everything, and then I made it fade into the light because we're going back into the station here. And go around that turn. I think it's turned out pretty good. I'm pretty proud of Fire in the Hole. Just wish the guests were more proud of it because, hey, we got people writing it. <laughs> it's like no one wants to write it because the excitement rating's super low on it. Just because it doesn't have much to it and it's. The Malice Unchanged mo chain model. <laughs> so. Alright, there's a couple of detail pieces I want to add here for the support structure here at Mystic. A couple extra support structure pieces that I wanted to get in here. Let's see if I can find a piece. I'm thinking the arrow holes were not those ones, the flat ones. These ones, the truss. Yeah, this would be the best. Kind of has like these little wide supports that kind of support it more on these beams. are ashes now. Run, boys, run. Don't be slow. Oh, I got a autosave. That darn autosave. Wouldn't be nice if it just went away sometimes. I mean, it's, it's a lifesaver sometimes, but I wish it didn't lag out the game down to one, fr to one frame per second every time. Because I'm just trying to build, and it won't let me do that. Sometimes it won't let me build. Just let me do my thing, man. Come on. Oh no. This doesn't look good. This is a this is a rough one. This is a rough autosave. <laughs> one of those rough ones. Don't crash the game. I don't know if I've ever actually had a autosave actually crash the game before. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. I don't think I've ever had one necessarily crash it, but sometimes it seems like it's going to. that that color is actually where I need it. There's one more support structure that's sitting right here, also here that we haven't gotten in yet. I 
<laughs> Just get it in there. Good thing is that I am using the uh, snapping, so this should be able to get right on in there perfectly fine. Just, just nice. Go up on with that. Yeah. Alright, we're going off. And doing our own thing. I'll take it. I forgot I turned off uh, the angle snap. Let's see if I can maybe copy it. I probably will need to obviously adjust it, but no. That's it right there. Then they have lights that hang off of those, and it looks it looks pretty good. So, oh, I haven't looked at the anybody been commenting recently. Gold fever trains on it, so it banks the cars. <laughs> I got another auto save. The tallest drop in the Western Hemisphere. Tallest drop on a raft ride in the Western Hemisphere. Extra details, extra, extra details, you know. All right, I think we might go a little bit longer, and I think I'll probably around the three-hour mark. We'll probably call it call it a stream for now, because I, I got some stuff I need to work on. Got to work on a Red River Valley episode with Gunner. He's ready to go, so we got to get that done. Might go play some Madden with um, uh, with Jacob, because I kind of want to play some Madden, too. Um, so I'll play some Madden after we record that episode, maybe. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll get that episode out to you guys tomorrow. Um, get it all edited tonight and everything, and get ready. get it ready for tomorrow. But, um, but I appreciate you guys joining me today. Um, well, let's make this more of a, uh, permanent thing and actually start, uh, doing more YouTube streams because I've been averaging 15 plus viewers pretty much for the most part. And there's sometimes we were getting in the twenties too. So that was nice. So good to see you guys here and I appreciate you guys being here and, um, you guys are awesome. You're just awesome. For all the beautiful, amazing supports. Uh, the channel's been doing really good. 
last month or two, so we've been doing great. Um, the um, a lot of the speculation videos that I do, very simple videos to do, and um, they've been doing really well, getting quite a few thousand views, um, generating quite a few thousand views, thousands of views for the channel. So it's it's been really really nice, and I appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate it a lot. On this stream alone, we've had 364 playbacks. So, I don't know, if, it's probably not all the same people, or some of the same people tuning in and out, but still, over 364 people have clicked on this stream. So, that's pretty awesome. So, I can see that live uh, going out. And our average watch time right now is at 6 minutes and 41 seconds, which is pretty good. Lost connection to EA, sir. No. EA, why? EA, come on, man. So, when we do come back, I will probably work more on... Mystic here, um, and then Thursday when I go back to work, again, I will make sure to get some reference photos of the Riverfront Playhouse and a lot of that area. I want to get a lot of that area, um, just nice. I might even take a video. It might be, might be better instead of taking tons of photos, let's take a video and just kind of walk around 360, you know. I need a 360 camera, that's what I need. I'll do my own Google Street View. <laughs> of the park. That would be handy, actually. I would honestly do that. If I had a 360 video camera, I would walk around the entire park and go through down every path just to get views of every single thing on park. I think that's a good idea. If I could afford it. <laughs> Like I said, if Planet, when Planet Coaster 2 comes out, I'm really thinking about doing a Dollywood recreation. Unless I get this done really fast, and then I might start on it in Planet Co. 1, but I'm not sure yet. Because I get sparks of motivation and inspiration sometimes. And when I do, I try. I gotta take advantage of it and get lots done, because I'll go weeks without touching the park sometimes, and I need to get away from that. I need to work on it a little bit every single day even if it's for a little bit like it just work on it every single day because there's some times where i get a lot done in a short amount of time and i just need to keep up at that you know it can sometimes be hard but i gotta i gotta motivate myself so i'm sure we've all been there you know where we have a tough time Keeping our motivation in Planko can be kind of rough sometimes. I need to go a little steeper because we're a little high up here still. Wall's getting a little high on this side. A little bit too high. I think my motivation is the reason why I don't play Planko anymore. It's always hard, especially after working and Planko nonstop for 10 days, if you know what I mean. But were you actually, though? Were you actually working on... <laughs> were you, though? Hey, Humble Pro, what's up? How you doing? Oh, a Diffica, okay. Nice. 
So many different names. <laughs> Where's my... Hey, Throw Rider, what's up? I don't actually don't have it set up on YouTube streaming yet. I don't have those alerts just yet. I don't know what I would set it up to since subscribing is a little bit different on YouTube, so... Wish I could go back to the sort of say been in like three years, even though it's my second home park. Oh, wow, three years. Yeah, I haven't been to some of my other home parks. My other home parks would be Worlds of Fun and Six Flags St. Louis. I haven't gone to those two in a while. Um, obviously, I work at Silver City, so I like. I'm there every day, almost every day. <laughs> so. <laughs> I only rode Mystic twice. I didn't want to have to worry about, you know, going in lines and stuff. And um, the first time I rode, I didn't actually wait in line. I was able to hop on during a ride through because one of the uh, my coworkers that used to work or that worked at Outlaw Run worked at Mystic, he transferred to Mystic, and he was doing a ride-through, and I was able to hop on with him, so. And uh, that was my first time I rode. My second time I rode was during the employee ride ride night, where they had a ERT for employees, so. Um, I rode during then, too. And it's a good ride, it's just, reliability is so bad. So bad. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to try and um, I'm not switching to YouTube. I'm just going to start streaming on YouTube as well. So what I think I'm going to start doing is start streaming to both platforms at the same time. That way, if you want to watch on YouTube, you can watch on YouTube. Or if you want to watch on Twitch, you can watch on Twitch. So um, whichever the people prefer. So that way, a bigger audience can see the streams, you know, because some people don't go over to Twitch. Um and I get a lot more viewers on YouTube anyways, so um, because there's a lot more subscribers on YouTube than the followers that I have on Twitch. I got, again, 5,500 on YouTube and then not even 1,000 on Twitch. So a lot more people get notified when I go live on YouTube. So <clears throat> kind of can't play Madden yet. Well, you figure that out, Jacob. Um, I'm going to have to, me and uh, Gunner's going to work on the next episode of RRV. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, this is kind of an experimental stream. I wanted to see how YouTube worked and everything like that. So um, I really don't want to leave, but uh, with all the viewers I have right now, it's over 20, which is great. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are awesome. <clears throat> Look at those turns. I know with the mod, you can literally do tighter turns. It's amazing. <laughs> and you can actually bank the turns a little bit too, which is what I was doing. Look at that. Slightly banked. Not banked up, not unrealistically banked, just slightly banked. So I'm starting to add these walls now. Uh, I decided I'm going to start doing these walls around the, the channel. Um, it makes it look a little bit closer to what it is in real life, so we're going to stick with that. Uh, run it and open it. Well, I mean, we can... Let's see. Are we in the station? Are we next to be dispatched? Let's do this. Do a little fast forward here. I've retracted it so many times too, which is crazy. Alright, we gotta do seat view for this. So we're gonna go around the turn and go up the lift. Uh, kind of boring on the lift part, so let's get up here. This is the, the regular lift hill. We're still doing a POV anyways. <laughs> I could probably open it back up now that I think I'm done with the uh, the track work for now. I could probably open it back up and see how many guests ride, so. This is the part that's gonna go super fast through there in real life, so. I try to emulate that a little bit. So they can't make it go faster, but I have launches in there. I threw in some L L uh, launches in there to make it go a little faster in some spots. I was like, the water, water rides need a lot more work in Planko. Because you can hear the launches actually kicking in. I'm trying to speed the current up a little bit. 
That was my attempt to try and speed it up a bit more. Oh gosh, we're about to hit seven minutes of average watch time, which is incredible. Thank you guys so much. You guys are sticking around longer. Pretty, pretty long right now. You guys are awesome. We're almost to 400 playbacks, which is awesome, which means, like, almost 400 people have clicked on the live stream. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Not, um, okay right now, but I could... Yeah, we can. Me and Gunner are gonna sort of come to the valley pretty quick. That's all right. That's really fun. Just Because they close at 4 30. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine too. Whatever you wanna do. It's looking pretty good though. Is this the mod that adds interchangeable trains on all coasters? It is, yes. Um, it is the reason why I have the vertical lift on this raft ride as well. I hit it into the scenery piece here. So it goes into the... Uh, so this will look really janky and stupid. But um, at least I can get the rafts up to the point um, and still make it functional. That's the thing. I wanted everything to be fun as functional as possible in this park. Um, so you're gonna have stuff like this hiding the <laughs> in-game V-lift, but in reality it actually goes onto a platform and it raises it straight up in real life. But you can't do that in the game, so I had to experiment and figure it out, and thankfully this mod makes it possible to get these rafts up here. Good. I'm really proud of how this is turning out. I can't wait till I get all the scenery done with it and stuff. It's gonna look, it's gonna be great actually. Yeah, they do need to just work on the water rides in Blanco, for real. Uh, we need to be able to change the current speeds on each piece, like not by like in settings, like just every piece that we place, we can set the speed of it. That would be perfect, especially for Mystic here. Because it has spots where it goes relatively slow, and then, like, spots right here where it actually flies through really fast, you know? That would be really nice to have. Like, in real life, when it hits this drop right here, it just, like, boom. That's why I threw a launch there to try and emulate that a little bit, but... I didn't want to put launches all the way through, because then I would have to retrace it, uh, the whole thing, which I don't want to have to do again. <laughs> I think this is looking good for what it, or good enough right now. So it's looking great. I'm I'm happy with it uh, as of right now. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. So Mystic is coming together, coming together. So um, next reference photos I need to remember. I'm going to potentially get a few more of this area so I can get that catwalk or that walkway that Harley was talking about, and then I'm going to get one over here of the um, catwalk that there is a little bit of a stairway on this side as well and we're gonna get that that and then potentially the supports for the drop i need to get as well those should actually be pretty easy so <clears throat> okay so what are they doing with lightning rod i've been hearing so many things they're pretty much rmc in an rmc it's getting the eye box treatment um, i've seen pictures of the steel track on the first turnaround, I think they're retracking the entire ride. I'm pretty positive that the entire thing's getting completely redone. Which will be great if it can stay open. As long as it helps with the reliability issues it has. Um, and I'm really, really hoping they make the launch back up to speed because I haven't ridden it since they slowed the launch down at the very top of the, of the hill. Because used to it flew over that hill but now uh it just kind of 
It you, you really you, it kills so much momentum when you get to the top. If you're in the front row, you don't feel it as much, but in, if you're in the back row, you just feel this how much slower it goes. Um, so <clears throat> only half, but I think it's gonna be the whole thing. I don't feel like they're just gonna do a few spots. I mean, it's possible, but I think they're doing the whole thing. Why would they do the first little turnaround? That wouldn't make sense to me. I don't. I wouldn't think that's a high stress point. <laughs> Yeah, like the turnaround. I saw pictures of the turnaround going into the launch. That was getting steel track, so. Who was they, though? New trains, too. That could be possible. I didn't shut that, that, that down, Gunner. I was just, like, thinking, like, um... To what it looks like, it could be the whole thing, but, um, but I I still think they could be just sections too. But based off what I've seen, it just seems like it would be the whole thing. You know what I mean? But I feel like they could do sections. But if they do sections, could it still be considered a um? Could it still be considered a wood coaster? Is the the thing? You know? I don't know. <sighs> Because I feel like if they retract the entire ride, it would just eliminate all issues with that. And then hopefully they, um, yeah, potentially maybe get new trains. And then put, I would love that they would put the speed back to uh, full full speed as well. That'd be great. But <laughs> all right, guys. I don't have a whole lot of time because I gotta record with Gunner, and then I gotta go uh, run some errands. Uh, afterwards so um and i gotta do that in a specific time frame so i'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here for now and i thank you guys so much for joining me today you guys are awesome and uh i'm gonna start live try and start live streaming a little bit more often um trying gonna i'm gonna try and live stream on both twitch and youtube at the same time we'll see how that goes um so yeah you ever had that one suggestion to red river it depends on what it is. There's a lot of... Yes, Fluffy! <laughs> My goodness. Does it have to be right now? Do I have to look at it at the second? <laughs> what? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I see you now. <laughs> Anyways, all right, I, I saw your message. <laughs> I got it. He's like, look at my messages. Pay attention. All right, anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. And even cool tomorrow, I'm going to catch you guys in the next live stream video, whatever it may be. And I'm going to try and get more live streams going here on uh, YouTube as well. So keep um, your notifications on so you guys know when I go live and everything like that. So... <laughs> Appreciate you guys so much for joining, and thank you guys so much for almost nearly 400 viewer views total, and s over seven minutes of average watch time. That's insane. Thank you guys. You guys are you guys are great. You guys are beautiful. <laughs> but all right, guys, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you have a great day, cooler tomorrow. Thanks, and goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye.